Chat! Chat! It's that time, it's that time. What's up, everybody? How is everybody doing, man? Can I get an exclamation point in the chat, dude? It's that time of year, man. It's that time of year, dude. Exclamation points in the chat. What's up, everybody? Oof. Oh, man, I'm so fucking excited right now, dude. Exclamation points in the chat. Yo, this is it. This is fucking it, man. Holy shit. We fucking made it, dude. Fucking Summer Game Fest. Oh, my God. Some leaks have actually been announced. Like, PlayStation Direct actually leaked a trailer of a certain game. I don't want to say what it is just in case you guys haven't gotten, like, spoiled yet. But I hopped on Twitter, and it's all over Twitter, dude. Like, this, this video game that was supposed to be here just got leaked. Like, it's fucking crazy, yo. Oh, my gosh, dude. But because of this leak, here's the important thing. Because of this um leak, I don't want to say what it is, but uh, there's a chance God of War Ragnarok might actually be shown. There, there, there's a chance. Don't spoil what the leak was. Um, The video game that got announced early by accident on Sony's part. Um, don't leak it if you know, but, uh, but yeah, man, we're here. So I'm gonna need you guys to do something. I need you to grab anything God of War related in your house. It can be a bookcase. It can be a, a CD. It can be a controller, something. Me, I got, uh, <laughs> I got my, uh, my picture that Santa Monica sent me for Christmas for the holidays. Uh, I got the, uh, Eric Williams, the God of War director sent me. All of uh, the Fallen God comics, which I framed, dude. I need you to grab something. We gotta will this thing into existence. It's almost time. It's almost fucking time. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Don't spoil the leak. No leaks in chat. No leaks in chat. No spoilers. Um, But yeah, we got one hell of a show. Um, We have approximately... How long do we have? Uh, 51 minutes, um, and then the game, uh, got, Summer Games Fest is gonna be shown. Uh, so yeah, we got some time to kill, chap. Um, before we go any further, though, I wanna ask you guys to do me a favor. Uh, I want to test the audio really quickly. So I'm going to head over to an IGN video, help me test the audio before we really get started. So, uh, let me know if you can hear my voice pretty Useful well. range of um, VR. The, ah, uh, but I'll touch on that more later. Uh, with the Luckily, sound we have two other modes that seem much bigger leaps, and bigger these are across all games. three games in the Insomniac stack. Performance ray traced used here used to be a 60 FPS limit prior to this update, which was good? largely a locked and capped 60 uh, Myla, FPS with a few dips occasionally to 59 really or 58. You, Daniel, but now we can see double that level at best, albeit briefly Thank when so swinging much. across uh, the city. In reality, though, we never see 100% faster frame rates here. More often, 50 plus Your is where is we sit, low. meaning we see frame times halved Lower. and input response okay, increased which is yeah, one of the biggest benefits of 120 FPS or faster frame rates. Voice, the leap is significant and really hammers home the extra right work the team have put in here to maximize their engine, oh, but also that? the gains when V-Sync is no longer set to a relatively low level. And therefore it can now also be controlled by the console. What we see here in the ray trace mode is a title that dynamically scales from a 4K target, but often around 1440p and hitting 80 to 90 Your FPS. Your mic is too low. Yeah, the raft last year. Now it's time to move them back in. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Police are taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. This is a real eye-opener and a look under fine. the hood in terms of what headroom Everything's is good. available on these fixed console titles that we rarely get to see, unlike PC titles. I would be doffing my cap to Insomniac right, at yet. this point, but but wait. How is it now? I'm trying. I'm trying to get this discuss. audio shit right before Miles we actually Morales start. has seen the same updates with pretty much identical results. Can you watch me God War videos here. from Dante? You guys mode, want though, to? I'm down. Shit, you got some time to kill. Higher. What time does it start? We have off, but the active uh, resolution scale minutes. can now go even higher. 48 minutes and then frame rate. It's actually short. now often being a further 17 percent over the performance ray trace mode into the 90s and even 100 FPS levels in cinematics, combat, and traversal segments. For such an early and good. Let me see. Okay. All right. I think it, I think it's working out fine. It's fine on my end. All right. 
So yeah, man, uh, uh, this, this leak that just came out was crazy big, dude. It was crazy big. A crazy big leak. Did you guys see it? Without spoiling, did you guys see it, what it was? I don't, again, I don't want no one in chat to get spoiled, so... What time does it start? It starts in 50 minutes. 48 minutes it starts. So I'm just going to hang out with you guys for a little bit. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Besides God of War Ragnarok, of course. That's why we're all here. What's up? Alright, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to tell you where it is. I'm not going to tell you. So I I'm glad. I'm glad. It's not God of War, if that's what you're wondering. Hey, Johnny, what, what's up, Captain Amar? Let me uh, uh, say some names. Uh, what's up, Fox, Arvin K, uh, Adul, it's Last of Us Remake. It did? No, nah, not Last of Us Remake. Uh, Mr. GM, I hope we see Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Holy shit. Uh, Saints Row. Again, no, no spoilers in the chat. Let's see. You think God of War will come out? I hope so, man. Wolverine, I don't think we'll see Wolverine at all. I'm gonna be awesome with you. I'm gonna be awesome. I, I read uh, Kendall Smith's uh, comment. I'm gonna be uh, uh, real with you. I don't think we're gonna see Spider-Man, and I don't think we're gonna see Wolverine. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think we're gonna see those two games. I think they don't exist currently. Um, they're supposed to come out next year, but let's be honest, it'll probably come out 2024. Let's be let's be honest, okay? Um, want to see DC games? Uh, Suicide Squad might make an appearance, but other than that, I'm I'm not I'm not sure about any other DC games. Oh uh, no, no, Gotham Knights is supposed to be revealed. That's already confirmed. Gotham Knights is already confirmed. Uh yeah, so we, we got some time to kill. 46 minutes. Hey, Reno, what's good? What's good? What's up, uh, Chris G? God of War is all I need to see. I need a release date. It's time. Yeah, I think it is time for a release date. Again, if you're in the chat right now, I need you to grab anything God of War related. I got this. Anything God of War related. How you doing, Parker? It's good to see you, man. Are you guys enjoying this format? Like, do you like this format with the chat on the screen? Obviously, when the show starts, you're not going to be on the screen. Um, but I will be able to see your comments. Uh, I'll still see your comments, but yeah. Do you guys like this format? I've been working on some things. What up, Aaron? What time will the stream end? It's supposed to be uh, around the two-hour mark. Chat on screen is 10 out of 10. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. Kratos motivation quotes. I remember you from Instagram. I remember you, dude. So, John, what is your personal favorite mythology? Uh, Norse mythology. I think I fell in love with it. Um, I didn't. I don't know much about mythologies in general, like uh, Greek mythology. Uh, I, I, I'm be honest. I just know it's overly sexual, uh, which is, that's what it's supposed to be. Um. Yeah, it's supposed to be overly sexual, that's all I know. But um, when God of War started to come out, God of War 2016, I made one video and it blew up and it was a terrible video. I did no research, I had no knowledge of Norse mythology. It was a terrible video, but it blew up. It got like 50,000 views in like, uh, like 20 minutes. And at that point, I never hit 50,000 views before. Uh, I think the most at that point, I was making Resident Evil videos and I got like 4,000 was like my max and that blew my mind. So uh, I just stuck with God of War. But yeah, I don't know anything about Greek. So Norse mythology, I studied, I read books to make the content good for you guys. So Norse mythology is definitely my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, mythology. Chat, um, if you want to see like what mythology would you want to be in right like what to be in for god of war to be in right because this is the last game of the norse saga dude this is it it's over after this so what do you guys want to see i know there's a lot of egypt fans here personally i don't want to go to egypt i'd rather go somewhere that is less popular i guess egypt is very popular 
<laughs> Give me a kiss this fucking laser sight. Did my chat freeze? Oh god, no it didn't, okay. Definitely Egyptian, Aztec, or Chinese. Japanese mythology I think would be pretty cool, says so, uh, Sal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of Egypt fans, yeah. Have you played Ghost of Tsushima, and are you waiting for the sequel? I have played Ghost of Tsushima, amazing game, a great story. Um, I feel Ghost of Tsushima did everything that Last of Us Part 2 tried to do, but Goshima did it, Ghost of Tsushima did it a lot better. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm not a Last of Us Part 2 fan. Um, Last of Us 1, though, is one of the greatest games ever created. Ever created. God of War today? I hope, man. I hope. Hindu, Hindu mythology sounds good. I like Hindu. I just don't want to go to Egypt because it's so popularized, you know? I want with when I have to research videos, I don't want to research something I already know. Yeah, we're gonna get more Resident Evil 4 remake. Opinion on Last of Us 2? What do you want to know? Why I don't like it? This is not for me, it's not fun. It's meant to uh it's meant to bring the mood like there's no happiness in that game. There's no up. It's just down, down, down. Usually in games, there's ups and downs and ups and downs. That game is just a constant flow of depression, anxiety, and anger. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's not a game for me. I don't like the story at all. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is already confirmed to be here. There's a, there's a lot of bangers. A lot of bangers. Uh, let me actually show you guys on uh on the summer games website let me show you guys what's actually uh already confirmed i believe on this website it actually shows uh so yeah here's the layout you get summer games fest which is today it's gonna happen in about 30 minutes let me check again now I, I believe it's 30 minutes um so you get all the, i'm not gonna stream these game spotlight netflix geek whatever but I will come back on June 12th to stream the Xbox game show. We have to see what they're working on. I will be streaming the Capcom showcase and the multiverses as well. Um, but it's on the 21st, so maybe not. Uh, here are all the companies that's involved. So we got Sony here that's involved with the uh, with Summer Games Fest. Uh, I'm trying to see if... Okay, there's no confirmations here. Okay. So yeah, Sony is supposed to be a part of this event. We got 40 minutes to kill. What up, Greek games? Yep, I'm from Greece. I very much like your videos. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, man. Okay, uh, chat, we're going to do that test again. I'm going to uh, go back to um, the video and put the audio up. Let me know if the audio is good or bad, all right? Can you guys still hear me fine? Granted, I'm gonna let the games play out. So. Okay. You are good, yes. All right, thank you, finally. All right, good. <laughs> now we hear you even better. All right, good, that's all I want. But can you hear the video? All right. All right, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. All right. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Alright, you should hear it now. You think a crushing defeat is all it takes to stop me? I mean, yes. Did you guys play so Ratchet and Clank? The big hitters, another Insomniac to complete the triple header that they released the is too easy Ratchet opinion. and Clank Rift Apart. And again, it... Alright, we're good. I, I, I like the settings here. Alright. We're good.
All right, we're good. All right, thank you, chat. See, this is why I need you guys before it starts. I'm glad you guys are here to help me out. Shout out to the chat room. Okay. Hey, do you know what? Hey, do you know about Black Myth? What the fuck is Black Myth? I don't know about that. Hey, John, showing God of Ragnarok accessibility where we see Kratos walking for three seconds. I noticed that Kratos has the blades equipped but does not have the chains around his arms. Uh, when he equips it, the chain goes around his arms. That's, that, that's what I think. Miguel says God of War is being delayed. Well, I turned off the background, but if you guys want it, I, don't, I, don't, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's put on some God of War soundtrack. Someone requested it, so I'll put it on. This one's in an hour. Hey, I fuck with this. This is my favorite song on the, on the whole thing. Hey, John, how do I become a member? Uh, if you go on the channel, if you scroll down, there is a icon with the... There's a money icon, so... I saw your tweet about the God of War placeholder yesterday. I think they're playing around with the dates. Uh, placeholders, look, um, September to December is still Q4, so you don't need to worry about it delayed off of that, right? If it is delayed, like I said in my video that I uploaded, uh, don't attack the devs, come here, be upset with me, but don't, don't go after the developers, alright? That's all I want. Wait, Summer Games Fest is right now? Uh, the show will be starting in... 36 minutes is when the show will start. So we're just here talking, listening to some God of War soundtracks. Hey, what's up, what's up? Hello, John. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. You know you can't stop the fans? I can try my best, man. Ah, damn. Will there be a Devil May Cry 6 update? Probably. No, no, I don't I don't think there will be a Devil May Cry 6. Look, Devil May Cry 6, Wolverine, Spider-Man, the games that are super far away, I don't think they're gonna be here. I really don't think they're gonna be here. What's up, Just the Reaper? Yes, drive safe, please. Don't... I don't need someone dying on this stream unless it's from a heart attack if you see God of War. That's the only time I'll allow you to die. What up, Luke? Were you a fan of God of War before 2018? I was, but I wasn't a I wasn't a huge God of War fan, right? I was not a huge fan, and I will admit that. Um, I played all the games, I enjoyed them, but then I moved on with my life, right? They're games you played, and I just put away my bin. But I stopped playing the series once Ascension came out. God of War Ascension was... God of War Ascension wasn't for me. Um, I, there was no hype for me, personally. Not, not a fan of Ascension. Not now, not then. So I, I got bored of the series, but then 2018 came and it, re, it reinvigorated my love for the series. Let me go ahead and uh, let me put the countdown on your screen because I see some people asking when does it start. So let me go ahead and do some magic here. Let's head over to Google. Right. I'm gonna put the chat on the screen. Trying to get it so I can show the time. This should be fine, right? 33 minutes is the time. 
that uh, we have to wait till the show starts. What up, Darth Vader? Says I'll be back. I'm gonna clean dishes first. Well, you got some time. I played the new God of War right now. But I can't spoil it. <laughs> sure. Sure, man. I played it last week. Every theory video I've ever made? It's true. Because I, I, I also play the game. <laughs> much love. Much love to everybody. Oh, damn. Can you tell us about the timer? Give us... Give the chat. The timer is on your screen right now. You see next to the chat, 32, 43. Did they show God? The show didn't even start, man. No, they didn't show God of War Ragnarok yet. Nope, this is the official page where it's gonna start. John, what's your power level? Over 9,000! I hope I did the Vegeta right. Did you see the... I don't know, the Thor board animation? Nah, I didn't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. The Attack Titan says it won't be shown. Don't be, don't, don't be a downer. Look, IGN, they stream... That's not the show. IGN just streams... Uh, before the actual show starts. It's what they've always done since the beginning of time. The show didn't start yet. This is the official page where it's going to start. You see the timer on your screen? IGN does what IGN does. I don't really like... I'm not a fan of IGN anymore, to be honest. How do I feel? 200 plus people right now? It's really humbling. Thank you all so much. Fucking laser sight. What's up, man? Jade says, I played the new God of War and Odin 360 no scope cradle. <laughs> oh, shit. I'd love to hear your opinion about what if Ragnarok flopped. It won't flop. There's no way in hell Ragnarok could flop. And I say this because every person in the world who is a PlayStation fan has played God of War. Or at least like 80% of PlayStation players have played it. And my reasoning for this is if you remember, God of War sold 3 million PlayStation 4 consoles. And it, I think globally it sold like what? Someone can look this up like 9 million copies or something like that. Like it's one of PlayStation's highest selling video games of all time. Uh, and then they put it on PS Plus at the beginning of this month. God of War is free for PS Plus. Uh, uh, members which means you can assume that every person who is a PlayStation fan has played God of War it sold 20 million copies okay there you go um, that means every every person who is a PlayStation fan has access to God of War or has played God of War and it also came out on a PC thank you uh, Renard you see what I'm saying this is Sony's strategy. That's why they put it on PC. That's why it's right now it's on PS Plus for free. You can play it for free. GameStop has it for $10. Like, there's no way. Even if the game sucks, right? Even, let's, let's, it, it won't suck. But let's say God of War Ragnarok sucks. It will still sell consoles. <laughs> it's one of the greatest selling games of all time. For PlayStation. So, no way it can flop. It will, it will forever be a financially huge success. Can you react to Black Myth? Uh, I, I'll react to it after the show starts. It's probably going to be here at the show. So. Spoilers, Kratos is tier. Some people think Odin is tier, chat. Some people think Odin is tier. <laughs> I, I I don't agree with it, but what do you guys think about that? Odin is tier. Can I make the timer bigger? I can't. This is uh this is YouTube. Let me see. Maybe if I full screen it. Oh shit! There we go. Timer bigger. Uh, 
chat's in the middle, timer's on the right, I'm on the left, perfect. Odin is the captain from God of War 1, imagine. I don't think that God of War Ragnarok will be shown. Why? Tell me why. If you guys don't think it's gonna be shown, don't just say that. Like, tell me why you think it won't be shown. Let's talk about it. Why are you trembling like that? I'm, I'm not, I'm not trembling. I'm excited. I can't feel my fucking pinky. Have you guys been like so excited? Your hands just like turn cold. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking excited, chat. I, I, I'm here. We're all here. We made it. This is. I hope it shows, man. I, I hope. I hope it shows. What are your thoughts on Resident Evil Four Remake? Looks fantastic. Can't wait to play it. Where am I from? I'm from New York City, and right now I live uh, in Texas. It is impossible for a God of War game to be bad. Uh, God of War Ascension exists. I don't like Ascension. Everybody knows I don't like Ascension. It's a solid 7. It's not a bad video game. It's just not for me. It's not a bad game at all. It's just... I have my, my preferences. And I don't think it's it. What do you think is the best time to drop God of War at any time? Adam Sin, thank you for the $2 donation. There's, there's no message attached, but he is watching me. So thank you for that. God of War Mobile, yeah, that's a terrible. That, that game is canon. God of War Betrayal, it's canon. Corey Barlock said it, so it's canon. Did I miss something? What do you mean? Did you miss something? You have the timer when it starts on the right. Uh, right now we have twenty six minutes, chat. Twenty six minutes. Does Odin's eyes match that to Mimir? I don't know. We haven't seen Odin. Ascension had potential. They couldn't. The Ascension. You guys do know that like Ascension is the first God of War game to try to be different, right? God of War twenty eighteen was not the first. Uh, it was definitely Ascension. Um, they tried to change it up because I guess they knew that interest in the God of War series was declining at that point in time. Uh, it was the last Greek game. Um, and it came out and it sold it sold really bad. Um, and it caused Santa Monica Studio to lay off a lot of people, change offices. Um, a, a game that they were making, I think it was a space game, it got completely canceled. And it never came out. It was a financial, uh, it, it hurt the company a lot. So they invested everything. They called Corey, told him to come back. Five years later, God of War 2018 came out. And financial success up the ass. Yo, my guy, stop lying. Hey, it might show up. I never said it will show up. I said it might show up. If it doesn't show up, just don't come here, be upset with me, but do not bother the devs. They're obviously working harder than you could possibly think. God of War gets pushed back. That's what I hear. But we'll see. Ascension Remake? Remake God of War 1, 2, and 3 or remaster them, right? Remaster the trilogy so I can play it on my PS5. They don't even have to remake it. I think those games are perfect already. Of course I remember you, Bear. If it doesn't show up, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be upset with you. Did you guys do what I told you to do? I, I told you guys to grab something God of War related. You know, grab a controller, a game case, a disc. If it has God of War on it, grab it. Have it next to you. I have my picture from Santa Monica Studio. They sent me this for the holidays last December. Eric Williams sent me all the Fallen God comics. And I actually fucking framed it because I 
Eric Williams is a champ. I don't know why they attack them. I don't know. I don't get why people uh, attack developers. Like they're just people with jobs, working on something. I got everything next to me. <laughs> you flexing? Nah, man. Look, I'm not flexing. I'm just saying we have to manifest God of War to show up here. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I have the Omega symbol a friend made me. Nice, bro. That's awesome. God of War 1 and 2 with remade graphics. I'll take it. Uh, I give I give God of Ragnarok a 40% chance of showing up. Because of a certain game that was leaked. You know, I gave it like a 20% chance, 15%, but a certain video game got leaked that was supposed to be here at this event. Um and because of that leak. I think that it's a 40 to 50% chance God over Ragnarok's gonna show up. Oh, you're from the South Bronx? Hey, I was, uh, I lived in Jamaica, Queens. First, I lived, um, in East Elmhurst in Queens. Then I moved to Jamaica. Good old New That's a New Yorker right there. John Ford, collab with Captain Now. He's, he's a cool guy. I, I, I like Captain Cuba. We've done several things together. Uh, he's a cool guy. You look it up. We, we did a we did several videos together. We're on several videos together as well. What up, Eddie? I carry God of War in my heart. That's my man Eddie right there. All right, uh, we have twenty minutes left. It's awesome. Chat. What do you guys think about God of War's gameplay? Like, someone asked me this last time. What would you change about God of War Ragnarok's gameplay? Uh, for me, I say keep the cancel system. Um, I know that God of War PS4, you know, with GBG, the way he plays, he's constantly canceling. Uh, I think they should keep that shit in. Will I do my podcast? Sh sure, if Cuba wants me on, I'm down. I like talking to the guy. You think Kratos, uh, will go back to Greece? What do you think? Chat, do you think Kratos will go back to, to Greece? Sorry, I'm checking something real quick. Give us Mjolnir. Yes. I see a lot of yeses. I see a lot of yeses. When does it start? Milan, look on the right side of your screen. That's where the timer is. Why would you go back there for Aphrodite? Aphrodite's dead. She died by her own STDs. <laughs> Weapon switching, yeah. Love you, brother, so humble. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Atreus Kratos. How you doing, Sethy boy? Back your videos in theater. Thank you so much. Hopefully we get something God of War related, man. I'm, I'm hoping to the gods, man. I'm hoping to the gods, dude. God damn, man. I really, I really, I'm really hoping that we get something fucking related, you know? <laughs> because, like, I, I'm gonna be honest, you know, I am a... How do I how do I say this without sounding like a complete fucking shill? <laughs> I I am a huge Santa Monica fan, right? Um, I will support them whatever they do. Um, the thing is, I will support them forever, but and I don't want to rush them, but you know, I I want this game to come out in 2022. I do. We got a guitar yesterday, nice. I really want this game to come out in 2022, guys. I really do. And, you know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I just really wanted to come out this year. What up, Ray Ray? Thank you for being a channel member, by the way. Hey, yo, y'all can become channel members real quick, you know? Or hit that super chat if you really want to support the channel, but you don't have to. 
Victor! What's up, man? Dark Soul Destroyer was good. What up, Artie? Thor, Fat Dauber Edition. Uh, John Ford, I think Kratos battles Ragnarok, then Phil, sending him back in time. And he kills Odin and gets hair. And Damn, you have a... Hey, I appreciate that mix-up games. I like your theory. It's pretty interesting. What what theories you guys have? Imagine if Eric Williams can't come to the computer screen and told us right. Yo, if Eric Eric Williams, I hope he shows up, man. I haven't seen the guy's face in forever. I hope he shows up. Mordecai, thank you for being a channel member. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream and my channel. Mana Gang, what's up? He says I'm new to the channel. Welcome to the channel, dude. Everybody say hello to a, to Mana Gang. What's up, Mana Gang? Welcome to the welcome to the awesome channel that is John Ford. Eighteen minutes left. Hell yeah! I'm so fucking. All right, so the games I want to see now we got eighteen minutes left. I think I think it's prediction time, right, chat? Prediction time. Okay, here is what I think is going to be announced. Um. Elden Ring DLC. Elden Ring DLC, bring that shit in. Um, Resident Evil 4 is gonna be here. Street Fighter 6 is gonna be here. Uh, Last of Us Factions, I hope, shows up. Uh, Forspoken, yes, uh, Fox in chat did say Forspoken. Um, what do you guys think? Elden Ring DLC, I think it's time. John Ford, uh, what about remaking Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta? Yes. Yes, do that. Do Remake anything that I cannot play natively on my PS5. I know I could stream it from PS Now. That's cool. I appreciate that. But come on, man. What's up, John? Love the videos. Thank you. Aphrodite died a cringe. <laughs> Victor, my theory is that what? What's, what's your theory? Oh, God. Don't they have like a bunch of mods in the chat? No? Who wants to be a mod? My theory is that <laughs> I don't have a theory yet. <laughs> Basically. Ray Ray, thank you for the channel member. What up, Barrett? Oh, Mordecai is the channel member. Some make channel members mods. I don't want to do all that. I hope we see Silent Hill. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, I forgot about that Silent Hill. Do you guys really want a Silent Hill game? Like, be honest. Like, if you have played a Silent Hill game and you want a Silent Hill game, press one. I, I want to see how many people here actually want a Silent Hill game. Hit one. I don't respectfully. I see a lot of I see a I see a few ones, so not a whole lot of people want a silent hill game, I see. Not a whole lot of people. Infamous three? Yeah, uh bring back coal. I don't like that the smoke guy. Not a fan. Not a lot of people don't want Silent Hill. Yeah, exactly. What is Silent Hill? <laughs> it's a horror game. Uh, the thing about Silent Hill, there's a lot of bad Silent Hill games that people shit on. And people want Silent Hill because they remember the Kojima PT Silent Hill game. Which got cancelled. You guys really think whoever... 
makes the next Silent Hill is on Kojima's level? Hell no. Wait, what the fuck? What, what just happened? Wait. Hold on. What, what the fuck? Welcome to Summer Games Fest. Oh, I thought this shit was about to start right now. Let's get the shit out of me. The Game Awards is live. Okay. Any second now, it's gonna start. I'm gonna bring the chat back up. I got scared. My heart jumped. They're teasing me, man. <laughs> They're teasing me, dude. They baited us. They did. Fucking assholes. Is this live right now? It's live. It is live right now. So at any moment, the show's gonna start. Oh, I just realized I don't have my Wi-Fi cord plugged in. Fuck. I, 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 chat, should I risk putting my Wi-Fi in? My, my Wi-Fi cable? Because right now uh, I'm using Wi-Fi. Not my Wi-Fi cable. My LAN cord. Stupid ass, John. How long left? Uh, look on. Oh, yeah, the timer went away. Fuck. Uh, what time is it? Oh shit! Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes, chat. No, don't. It's over, right? I can't put on my land cable. It's it. It might fuck the stream up, right? It might switch and fuck the stream up. So we're doing this Wi-Fi. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> 10 minutes, chat! 10 fucking minutes! You think we'll see Faye and Ragnarok? No. Grab your shit, chat. Grab your items and hold it. We have to manifest this fucking game into existence. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Um, if you want to see God of War Ragnarok, press 1. What is my next theory video? Dude, I haven't made a theory video in so long because, like, I have not made a theory video in so fucking long because I, I can't think of it anymore. I can't. I try. Ask God of War Geek. I, I'm desperate, but I've talked about literally fucking every topic. I've touched on everything from, <laughs> from Freya killing Kratos to Kratos being friends with Thor. I've talked about everything. So... A lot of ones, there we go. No one put ones for Silent Hill, but everybody put one for God of War. Oh, I love you guys, man. I fucking love you guys. God damn. Alright, man. Any second now is gonna start. Um, chat, I'm gonna, I know you guys like listening to it, but because it can start at any moment, um, I am going to take off the God of War music, cool? Because it can start at any moment, alright? Is that cool with you guys? So we're gonna be sitting here just talking. So let me, I'm gonna pause the God of War music real quick. We're gonna listen to some some Game Awards stream music. Any moment's gonna start. Any moment. Hey bro, I contacted you on Twitter yesterday. I've got, I'll, I'll read your message. Open dramatic music. Mordecai is doing laundry. Very videos. What is Kratos' max... Max what? DMCH? Max bench? Uh, a mountain. You can bench a mountain. 
How do I become a member? Uh, I believe you become a member by going down, scrolling down on my channel, like on this video, and it should be a member icon. Also, check the description of this stream. There should be a link to the memberships. Obi-Wan John? Obi-Wan show is boring. The problem with the Obi-Wan show is that this is fucking Star Wars. This is Anakin and Obi-Wan. And it's boring. It doesn't feel special. The event started. It's gonna start at any moment, chat. Any moment is, is gonna start. Um, let's see. Yeah, any moment, yeah, literally any moment it could start. No spoilers in the chat. If anything gets leaked, no spoilers. Where is God of War? I hope it's here, man. Hope it's here, Dakota. This music is popping, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should go back to the God of War music? Nah, because the show can start at any moment. Right? It could literally start at any moment. So I don't want to have to, like, when it starts, I have to get off the screen, take off the music, go back to the screen. Nah, we're, we're in this, so we're in this. John, do you think Japanese Pantheon will appear in the future? I, ho I hope we don't go- I hope we go anywhere but Egypt. <laughs> anywhere but Egypt. Please. The music making me nervous? Yeah, me too. What up, Life Reaper? Keep that elevator, it keeps tensions. Keep your expectations low? Nah, fuck that shit. There are moments where you have to keep your expectations in. A moment you gotta let that shit out, you know? It's not healthy to keep things in. Why do you think Kratos is such a train wreck of a person? You know, it's okay to feel. Don't let a fictional game character tell you how to feel, chat. Why don't I like... I don't want to go to Egypt because it's too popular. I want to explore something, like, that I don't know. Japanese myth. Mayan, Chinese, I don't know. In my mind, it's so much more interesting than Egypt. But if you do go to Egypt, it's fine, but I prefer to go somewhere else. I'm being honest. My hands are shaking, chat. Can you see this shit on camera? My hands are fucking shaking right now, bro. I can't. Why not Chinese? You guys don't like Chinese mythology? It's not cool. Love from South Africa. Thank you. Thank you for- Thank you all for, I wanna say thank you all for fucking being here. You know, I fuck with y'all so much, yo. I really do. Like, you guys are fucking awesome people. You know that? Alright, chat. Five minutes left. Five fucking minutes. Kratos versus Seafood? Or Sith? Oh. Thor's sister? Kratos will kill Thor's sister. She's not even that important. I don't know why people are making such a big deal about Thor's sister. She's she's not that important, yeah. Anyways, I was saying, like, thank you all so much for being with me to experience this with me. Um, it, it, it absolutely means the fucking world. Um, it, it is starting very soon. Any moment it could start. Any moment. Uh... Four minutes left, so any moment. What up, Fox? Is hella uniquely blesses? I'm mad at you. I'm sorry. Whatever I did to you, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I do remember your uh, your Twitter message. Um, yeah, th there's nothing else there. Three minutes, shot. How long is the fest? It's gonna be uh, around two hours. One hour and 30 minutes to two hours. Euphoria, what's up? 
Too many crazies in the Game Award chat. I'm not even looking at them. Holy sh- Thank you for the $20 donation, motherfucker. Thank you, the Mark Reaper. I haven't seen your name in such a long time. Mark Reaper says, here's some good luck dollars. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. You've instantly made this streaming worth it. You and Myla and everyone else who donated to become channel members. Thank you all so much for supporting me. Why is time moving so slowly? That's what I'm thinking, yo. My hands are fucking sweaty, bro. Start this shit. Greetings from Kratos land. You're from Greece? You're from Greece? What's up, dude? I'm gonna grab some water. Hold on. Someone said you look like the what? The black version of who? Yo, homie, you looking like a black version of Walter White. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know if that's a compliment. I don't watch what is the Breaking Bad. I don't know what show that is, but thank you. All right. All right, it's supposed to start now. It's supposed to start. Come on, Jeff. Bro, stop this music, yo. I don't want to listen to this fucking music anymore, yo. It's going to start at any second, bro. Come on, let's go. Walter Black. <laughs> oh, shit. No, Taekwon, my wife said your voice is sexy. That's why I'm mad. Look, everybody says the opposite. I, 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 but thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the $2 donation, dude. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. This is it. Any second, Jeff, stop fucking with my emotions. Imagine they start the show off with God of War Ragnarok, dude. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <sighs> Gotta be calm. Prepare for this. <laughs> nah, fuck, I'm all in, yo. Right, I'm gonna take the chat off the screen and go full screen. It can start literally at any moment. If Jeff hurries his ass up. Oof. I'll bring y'all up on my second screen over here. You know what I'm saying? Losty says, I'm scared. I'm scared too, man. I'm with you. They're probably going to show at the end. 15 minutes? I thought they're gonna s Nah, I don't think it's 15 minutes. Don't be forget to be a calm, a reasonable person. It depends what they show, dude. Don't be scared. I I'm trying not to be. All right, you know, I'm gonna put the chat back because I feel lonely. And I will take it off once it actually starts, all right? Because Myla just said 15 minutes. So an additional 15 minutes? Oh, God. God damn it, man. God damn it. Thank you, chat. 15 minutes. All right, well, I, I believe the chat. I fucking believe the chat. Keep your spec... Low. I think you said the line wrong, Axel. Keep your expectation low. What's a spectation? Well, technically, I am spectating. So technically, you're not wrong. All right, chat. Um, type two games you think that are going to be here. Two games you think that are going to be here right now. Two games. Like, what's your top games that you think are going to be here? God of War Ragnarok and what else? Because I know you guys are just going to put God of War Ragnarok. Dragon Dogma 2, Spider-Man and God of War, God of War GTA 6, Ghost of Tsushima, 
Mario Strikers? Yo, that's a man of culture right there. Whoever said Mario Strikers. Is Angry Bird a lesbian? Probably. Who knows? Spider-Man. Spyro. The Spyro? Someone extra Spyro? Final Fantasy VII? I want to come. 100%. Tomb Raider and Tom Clancy. God of War is not coming. Sorry. Damn it, Zuko! This is why you got your face burned in the show, Avatar. <laughs> At John Fort, that's you spell my name. Both you spell my first name and my last name wrong. <laughs> it's it's J O N F O R D. The Last of Us and uh, Spider Man. New SpongeBob game that is also a man of culture. But no, you guys really think a new Infamous is gonna be announced? Press one in chat if you think Infamous is gonna be announced. <laughs> Be nice. Ben says John Mercedes. You know what's funny about that, Ben? On my very first girlfriend, uh, her name was actually Mercedes. I'm, I'm not even fucking kidding you. Uh, this was like back when I was like fifth grade, sixth grade. Um, her name was Mercedes, and uh, I don't, I don't know if I should get personal with you guys. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I don't really talk about my life with you guys, so fuck it. My very first girlfriend name was Mercedes, and it was like the worst time of my life because all the fucking kids um, that that we also went to school with made fun of us, saying that our kid is gonna be named Mercedes Jaguar. Or her last name when we get married is gonna be Mercedes Ford. You know, Jaguar Ford, Honda Ford. The, the jokes are brutal. I'm, I'm not even fucking kidding with you guys. Yeah, this is when I was in fifth grade. That's when I had my very first girlfriend. And all the kids are real stupid. Yeah. You think a trans would be playable? I, I hope. I hope. Tell us more. That's all y'all get. That's the only personal thing you will ever know about me. Mustang Ford was also a joke that people said. Literally fifth grade comedy. That shit hurt, bro. That shit fucking hurt. I'm being, I'm being honest. Like that shit hurt my feelings, man. And it's funny we dated all the way up to well, not really date, but we were on and off until like the eighth grade, and she cheated on me, which is fine for kids. I don't care. But everyone was like, you don't. That's why you don't buy a luxury car because everybody hops in it. That shit also hurt me, man. <laughs> when is this show gonna start? I, I, I can't talk about my life with you all. You're gonna roast me. That's fine. Fuck it. Uh, everyone's laughing. <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah, it, it was it was brutal. But think about it now. It's the funniest shit ever. I'm sorry, but that's funny as fuck. Yo, by the way, nobody pressed high. Nobody pressed one for a new infamous game. At least I didn't see it. All right, let's see. Press one for a new Spider-Man game. If you think Spider-Man's gonna show, okay. I see a lot of people. Oh wait, it's starting. Oh shit, it's starting. Move chat. Oh, 10 minutes. God, Jeff, stop fucking with me. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff. Every time the screen changes, my fucking handshake. Fuck. Damn, everybody thinks it's gonna be shown. Am I the only person that thinks it won't be shown? God damn it, Jeff. Jeff is like, yo, we're gonna fuck with John right now. I don't wanna tell you more stories about my life. Jeff, start this. Please. Well, at least that's the timer. Let me uh, let me find a place to put the chat so you can see the timer. Oh, not that. Uh. There we go. No, I'm trying to move the chat. There we go. Fuck it. 
fuck it, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just put it like this. So you guys are not looking at the seconds. Is that good? Is that a good placing chat? Do you like that there? Alright, uh, let's see. What else, what else, what else? We got eight minutes, man. What's my favorite game other than God of War? Uh, Metal Gear Solid, the, re the entire Resident Evil series, except for Resident Evil 6. That was the one of the worst games I've ever played. Uh, yeah, um, Resident Evil games are, my, are my, one of my favorite series. I'm just being honest. Alright, uh, let's see. Press 1 if you think a Wolverine gonna go sh is going to show. That's more ones than Spider-Man. Holy shit. People want to see Wolverine more than spider Well, I want to see Wolverine more than Spider-Man. Let's fucking be honest here. I hope they make Wolverine a fucking rated M game. I will accept nothing less than rated M, dude. Nothing less than a fucking rated M game, dude. Right? It wouldn't be... See, this, this is the problem. This is why it's hard to make a Wolverine game. Why it's hard to make a, uh, a Superman game, especially. is because if you want to... Slayer! What's up, my man? Slayer is an old friend of mine. He used to be a mod, but he left on Discord, sadly. But, um, yeah, yeah. So this is why it's hard to make a Spider-Man, a, a Wolverine game, or a Superman game. Is because it's hard to really show off their powers in a video game setting, right? Uh, for example, uh, Wolverine has claws, right? If Wolverine punches an enemy with his claws, there's gonna be no blood, there's gonna be no limbs falling off, there's gonna be none of this shit, right? And a Superman game, what the hell are you gonna do? Superman's invincible, so it's hard. It's hard. That's what she said. That's what she definitely said. Myla earlier said a Jedi Fallen Night game. I hope so. I hope we see something Jedi related. Because you gotta tease a trailer, so. I remember Go to War, of course. Wolfreen's gonna be rated R. Uh, press 1 in chat. If Wolverine. Is it gonna be rated R? Press two for wait, not rated R. It rated M. What the fuck? Rated M. Press two for not. Press one for rated M. Alright, 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 cool, cool, cool. So, uh, Insomniac Games, listen to my fucking chat room. We will earn you money. Okay, chat, uh, it's about to start um, in five minutes. Five minutes. Insomniac confirmed it's rated it's M. No, they didn't. Really? My love for the five dollar donation again, girl. You don't have to donate. You know that, right? I appreciate you so much. You already gave me twenty. I'm gonna rip my bong. Y'all should do the same. Yo, don't. I don't. I, I can't openly and I won't openly support any type of drug use. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't support that. Thank you for the five dollars, My love. I appreciate you so much. Look, Warhawk, it's not my it's not my fault they keep fucking changing the you know they keep changing shit up. It's not my fault.
My life will change if they show Red Dead Redemption somehow. Like a new one? You can only put your comment once. You don't, you don't need to spam your comment. What are mods at? Man? I think Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights is already confirmed to be shown. Make a poll if you think. Yeah, already. There's a poll already out. It says if God of War Ragnarok is gonna show up with over 1,000 votes, 67% say yes. It's already a poll out. Just like scroll to the top of your chat. Is PlayStation gonna be at Summer Games Fest? Yeah, uh, PlayStation is involved in this. If you go on the website, Summer Games, uh, and you actually scroll down, you can actually see that PlayStation is directly involved with this as well. Look, man, GTA 6 does not exist, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't care about GTA 6. When it comes out, it comes out, because I'm tired of waiting for, for... How old is Grand Theft Auto 5? It came out, what, in 2013? It's dumb old. It's a nine-year-old game. Ellie, for the $2 donation, says, if there is no God of War, I'm gonna cry. We, we will all be upset together. But stop putting that negative energy in the air, chat. Two minutes. Grab your God of War shit, put it next to you. Hold on, can I get this in the corner? Alright. It's in the corner. Get your God of War shit, put it next to you. This is it. Why do I have mods? Thank you for the $2 donation, says despite... Despite, uh, odds. I hate open world shit, too. I'm, there's too many open world games that are out. Oh, you can't see them? That sucks. All right, one more minute. I'm gonna take up the chat. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We talked long enough. I want to see some shit. We have less than a minute. Let me just make sure it's live. That we are perfectly in sync with one another. All right, my friends, we have arrived. We are here. We are together. Whatever happens, chat. Remember, do not attack any devs. Grab your God of War shit. Manifest this game into existence. Manifest it. Alright, I'm making sure one more time we're perfectly in sync. Here we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Because any kind of some viewers find offensive. Get this shit off of my screen! No one cares about your damn disclosures, Jeff. I don't care. And here we go! Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the wide, wide world of video games. We are live here in Los Angeles. So whether you're streaming from home or watching inside an IMAX theater, welcome to our showcase event. Over the next few hours, we'll give you updates on the games you love, be joined by special developer guests, and yes, have a few surprises along the way too. Now, what I love about this show is that it's a true cross-industry showcase. 
whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Switch, or mobile, will have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. We're all here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video games. The biggest franchises in the industry are here, like Call of Duty. You'll get introduced to exciting new worlds, okay. new teams, and we'll make room for small independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight too. If we do this right, hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it, you're not gonna get everything today, but we've got a lot of great stuff. So let's get started. Over 30 years ago, Street Fighter Street 6, Street I start to show off right. Arcades, and ever since, this legendary Japanese fighting game series has continued to evolve. Street Fighter 6 is coming in 2023, and right now, we're excited to officially confirm a character coming to the game and show you the exclusive first gameplay footage. Enjoy. All right, let me see it. You will know what hits you. Guile. Let me have some fun. Let's get this mission started. Oh, he looked good. Okay. We got a little beard there. This will be a good Were you? All right. Two of my sights. Okay, it's Street Fighter 5 shit. Okay. I like it. I like it. He looked dope. He looked dope. I'm just on another level. It's lagging. It's all about the comb. All right, next it's time for a brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. Check this out. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the commsat relay, and bring it back online. We found the relay. Okay. But there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Close that door. Close that door. Nothing gets in here. Ray didn't make it. The least is a one piece. Willis, take the lead. Oh, this ain't good. What we found was a new kind of evil, and it found us first. What the? This wasn't human. saw in there but I know when I close my eyes I still see it now everyone's dead
and someone needs to know. The look doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Oh, now it looks shit. I hate that overhead shit. But it, it doesn't look bad. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Just, just to see if I like it. I'll buy it. That was Aliens Dark Descent, and it's coming in 2023 to console and PC. Next, two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. Today, I am thrilled to get to show you the first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn Schofield. But first, here's the quote-unquote Scho Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore. I don't know what this game is. It looked like Diablo Immortal, exactly. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance. At rebirth. Every time. We saw this at State of Play, didn't we? That's a cop. That's a day one buy. Chat, is this a day one buy for you? Is this a day one buy? It's I'm buying a day one. It looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. That's right. We know what you wanted to see. And joining me now, Glenn Schofield, striking distance. Glenn, uh, first of all, congratulations. This game looks absolutely incredible. And I got to say, the fact that day you one. have built this team, this studio, new IP, shipping this December, all in COVID, blows me away so congratulations yeah thanks man uh thanks for having us i really do appreciate nah, it nah yes um, nah Megan. and you know for a second just give me a second you know i want to thank you uh for all you've done for the game industry uh all these years man i i think i've known you like 16 17 years now and Aww. Uh, um give him a hug jeff ambassador. um you've amplified new games new studios and uh i i just wanted to thank you i really do oh, appreciate well. it Thank you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah, I, I know. I, but... I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so fun to do these shows and to show this game. So people saw the trailer. But what I'm so excited today is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development and people are going to be blown away, I think, when they see it. But tell us a bit about what are we going to see today? Yeah, we got a couple minutes of, uh, like you said, like raw gameplay. Um, it's two segments in the first half of the game. Uh, one is a med bay. Another one is a power station. And you're going to see uh, some new enemies, some brutality, some uh, just about everything. We were showcasing a new uh, weapon called the grip. Okay. It's uh, like a... Chat, rate this out of five. The enemies. 
and it shoves him into giant I'm sorry if I'm not, if I'm not incredibly interested and, uh, into what he has to say, but the, uh, I'm going to buy the game. The so. nice ending we have where we, uh, you know, Don't spoil the ending. kill our main character, Jacob, yeah. and in a very unique way. And uh, uh, just for a second, I, I want to thank the team, man. Like you said, Did he just COVID, spoiled the game. Else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, you know, what you guys are shipping this year, this looks like a world-class next-gen game. Uh, it's it's rare that teams are bringing something out like this this year, and let's let the footage speak for itself. Glenn Schofield, Striking Distance. Here it is, the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. jumped a little bit. Shoot his ass. Get your aim up, kid. Now this is this is literally dead space. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is literally dead space chat. Like this is dead space. I'm buying it. I'm fucking buying it. This is fucking dead space, bro. Right out of five, chat. By the game plan now. Oh, you dead, motherfucker. Oh, you, oh, you is dead. Oh, you're dead as fuck, kid. You suck. Oh, my God. You fucking that just suck. happened. All right, moving on. This October, I'm Call of it. Duty Modern Warfare 2 arrives. Infinity Ward is once again returning to its roots for a modern-day action game. And today, we're about to show you the world Call premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. To tell us more, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. All right, it's Call of Duty. I don't care. I'll be right back. Hi, everyone. In 2019, Modern Warfare changed everything. And on October 28th, we usher in a new era of Call of Duty with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. We are back. We are bigger. Fucking Call and of we are Duty. bringing the entire Mid video team. game series with no Price, creativity. Gas, Everything they say so here is going to be a Alejandro. fucking lie, dude. And of course, Everything they ghosts. say is going to be a fucking lie. We needed I'm a stage big enough to debut Call of Duty Fuck in a whole new way. Inspired Chat. by the world we're about to enter. Oil Everything rings, they say is going to be a lie. Cargo ships and staggering so odds shit. are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. No creativity ass uh, series. Hey, comfortable real quick. I'm gonna mean this on. Fuck it. I'm going to sleep. Eyes in the ring. Alright, that's our target. Shadows one and two. Push to your hook point. Let's invite ourselves in. All station ship is visual. Be ready for anything! It's good. 
could be a trap. He said it's gonna be a trap, so it's probably gonna be a trap. Cause you know, Call of Duty has no fucking originality. Chad, they're gonna say this is a new innovative experience with brand new weapons and brand new. You know, they say the same shit every year, man. Shut the fuck up. Let's see this. Oh, wait, hold on. This does look kinda nice. Nope, I'm not falling for it. Don't fall for it, chat. It's the same game. Over and over again. What are y'all saying about it? Don't be fooled by this bullshit, chat. Same fucking game. Dude. Oh look at that! That was so new. Don't fall for it, man. Don't fall for it. Room clear. Coming out. Shadow one, moving to the southeast stairwell. Scorers right side. Ghost, we're moving to the main deck. Did you just say ghost? So they're copying the original Modern Warfare 2? Bro, nah man. They brought back ghosts. They did this 15 years ago? On that damn ship. Actual, we got a problem. This is a something on the ship. You have your orders, son. Stop that launch. Characters. Bro. Let's have ourselves a gunfight. It's the same gameplay, bro. Every fucking year. What is this? A call of duty? It's a shipment. 
This is shipment from Call of Duty 4. This is fucking shipment. It's a Call of Duty 4 map. Oh, dude, this is wet works. This is wet works. Oh shit. Not shit, man. Wet works. My fault. Yeah. Bro, it's the same map. No, it's, it's, it's wet works. My fault. I forgot the name. I don't like wet works. It's a shitty map. I don't. I don't. Not a fan of wet works. Bro, it's just still going. I swear to God, Chad, if there's a section where the ship starts to sink, and they get on a helicopter. No, this is literally the same map from Call of Duty 4. This is the same exact story. Mid. It's over. Cole's having a good nap too, pre -order man. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. Don't pre-order, chat. Don't fall for their bullshit again. It's bullshit. That's what we're talking about. And joining us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna, great to see you. How's everything? It's great. Thanks. Uh, great to have you with us. And also Jeff from uh, Infinity Ward. So we saw the first gameplay. Thanks for that extended sequence. Looks incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us a bit about that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So, um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome back uh, Captain John Price and uh, uh, Gaz uh, Garrick. Um, you know, they're not re they're not actually in what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from One for One. And then the other two characters uh, we knew they were returning because it's the, the same game. Reimagining are uh, Simon Holy Ghost shit, Riley man. and uh, of course uh, Soap are. John McTavish. Um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, Commander Philip Graves and uh, Mexican Special Forces. Uh, Colonel Alejandro and Alejandro, I gotta say, we're it's a character we're really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh, who's just as important as Task Force One Four One. But as far as the levels concerned, um, you know, this I, I got a shout out to to IW. You know, this was a tremendous collaboration across all of the the different uh, disciplines. As you saw, everybody coming together, some really uh, motivated devs here, and uh, you know, you saw the the wind and the uh, animations and the awesome sound design. <laughs> Did you just say the wind? Tech, which is actually pushing the boat in different Look at our nice water it's chat. Creating a physical I can't dynamic see. environment, so much allowing for in my the ear. cover you were seeing. In certain cases, you could be behind you guys cover, see that? and the then water. suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed. We have the best water the in the industry, chat. This emergent gameplay. Look at our um, water so, again, in the I'm, wind. I'm very excited. Just can't wait. That I'm so excited that we get to show it off today. And it's that's just wind. a hint of where things are going to go. Uh, Johanna, tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall, Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, you know, oh. we're so excited that it's back this year, but you've got lots going on across the Same Call of Duty. characters, same yeah, story. We, um, first of all, thank you. Look for at our us water here. and so wind. We're excited for October 28th. It's such a big moment, not just for Modern Warfare 2 and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks the step change, what we're calling a transformational moment for the entire franchise. You're gonna the see entire incredible franchise. rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game itself, so built all on one shared engine now, across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going oh, forward. Oh, they're bringing back of Warzone. Of course, there's a lot oh of chatter God. and interest about 
the new Warzone experience. We're affectionately calling it Warzone 2.0. Um, there will be um, a standalone Warzone's back. Warzone for current oh existing um, players as well. So yeah, we're going to sort of feed the entire community there. But all eyes on the 28th. Um, and again, I think the collaboration has just been incredible. Everybody's so excited for Task Force 141. I, I um, hate Warzone fucking coming to mobile as well for players Call on the Duty, go. We're, we're on Steam. They you show know I mean? so nothing new. Everything they're saying is not new. It's just returning um, shit. Before we, we leave, we got to ask a little bit about Warzone 2. I know we just, you know, we're showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? There was a little bit, it seems like there was a little bit of a tease maybe in the trailer yesterday. Or yeah, when we're seeing that from the communi community, we love when the fans can pick up some things. Um, the fans don't chatter like about you. Maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements, but we will get into the details of Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe. Yeah. So all the more reason why we think this game, <laughs> this moment is, is such an important. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 the universe, bro. And they said like universe, said, bro. Around the entire I can't. Franchise. So we're in, we're in position. We're really excited. They use specific right, well, words to get you guys so hype. Have you so noticed that? The, first look at the, game the universe of, Duty, Modern, of Warfare Modern Warfare 2. 2. Um, all right, well, we've got lots more Summer Game Fest still to go, and now it's time to announce a classic PC gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release. I loved this game when I was growing up, so I'm honored to share this very first look. Thank God they're gone. Call of Duty is such an unoriginal series, bro, where they have to rely on bringing shit back to get you excited to buy their stuff. Fucking modern warfare universe. Yeah, I'm just gonna mute this because it's copyrighted music. But yeah, my point is. Everything that they showed in the trailer, everything they just said, nothing is new. There's nothing new at all. Warzone's coming back. Look at this newly designed uh, uh, map from Call of Duty 4 that came out in 2007. Oh, we're bringing back High Rise, a Modern Warfare 2 map? Fuck off. All right, let's turn back time. Back in 2017, we announced Witchfire. At All right, the Game I'm sorry, Warfare. chat. I'm sorry. Almost five years later, I am so excited. The team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter early access soon. I am so excited to play this, and I bet you will be too after you see this. Chat, we're not even like 20 minutes in. Trust me. They're not gonna show off their big games at the beginning. They're not gonna show off their big games at the beginning. I don't know why you guys think God of War will be shown at the very start. They're not even at 20 minutes in. Oh yeah, another shooter. Good point. This is another shooter game. But it could be good. Oh, this one looks kind of boring, but it looks more interesting than fucking Call of Duty. This looks way more interesting than Call of Duty. bad I don't know if it's, it's I don't know if this is a day one cop but it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad chat it doesn't look bad but will you buy this game day one I I, I, I okay, don't know I'm next on the fence. up comes an ambitious new game from a new independent studio in Europe Starring okay. some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. It's gonna be Kojima's game. 
No, no, not Officer anyone. Officer Taylor Medlog, 29. That voice sounds... Is this Troy Baker? Today, um... I can't believe what I saw. Is this Troy fucking Baker? Solace. Everything okay in there? Fort Solus. Facial recognition. Ooh, you guys see that face? That actually look good. Um, we didn't see any game. It is Troy Baker. I fucking knew it. This guy isn't everything. Uh, I probably won't get this day one because we didn't see any gameplay. So that's something brand new. And look who it is, Troy and Roger in person. Guys, uh, this is so fun. The fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team up. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, good to be here. I gotta ask you guys, uh, who are your characters in this game? Well, uh, I get to play a character named Wyatt Taylor, who's a medical officer who's stationed at this uh, base, Fort Solace. Look at the motherfucker uh, hair, the bro. Look, this look at the swag of this guy. This guy's hair is perfect. Go through the game, and of course, my character will be at times in opposition with Roger's character. The battle we've been waiting to see. <laughs> Every once in a yeah, yeah. Oh man. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, this looks awesome, man. Yeah, man. It's so great to be here. Thanks for having us. It's, it's, it's so great that you're in another game. We, I mean, it's feeling like this is your first game since yes. Red Dead 2. One of the first major ones for a oh, while. Oh, he was in and Red Dead 2. I play too. a character by the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian mining post. Okay. And his job is to make sure that none of the equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard I don't have a ship. crush, but graveyard look at ship, him. Meaning Mars and Earth. How can you not acknowledge his hair? Other, and their orbits around the look sun. at him. So help is not a simple call away. Uh, I gotta ask, I, I think a lot of people will see this thing and they'll probably wonder, you know, it's a new team, right? Uh, new, you know, independent studio in Europe that's making this, but with huge production values. I'm curious, like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I, I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year for games. It was the first, I mean, obviously Excuse we had this me? unprecedented event with the pandemic and that forced the way that we looked at it everything as a society, but also the way this industry functions. But it was also brand new consoles. We had more tools that were being made available that were leveling the playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie studios or the AAA studios. Okay. And so just like anybody else, we got reached out. Uh, James Tinsdale with this brand new studio said, we'd like for you to uh, consider being a part of this game. And he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was going to be like. And at the very beginning, he said, it's, we want this to feel, it's a, it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel like Dead Space meets uh, Duncan Jones Moon. And I was like, sign me up. I'm into that, absolutely. And full like performance capture and everything. Ah, right? yeah. Absolutely. New studio, brand new energy. And of course, I get to work with one of the best of the business. Jeff. And me. I get the privilege <laughs> Who's the of other? getting to see this guy and watch him in action. Uh, I, you know, I love to work and I love the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's gonna knock Yeah, I guess I've seen off. some of the behind the scenes and the performance capture, Unreal Engine 5. I mean, this is, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Can you give us a hint about the, the gameplay? Like, what are we gonna do in this game? Yeah, yeah the thank you, thank you, So thank we're gonna let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on, but oh uh, this is a game where you as the player, you're gonna be exploring, Just show be me. discovering. Like we said, it's a very tight, thriller so you're moving very fast paced through this world you'll be multiple locations multiple ways for you to traverse which we're excited to show you about show uh, it and then stop saying the, it. the narrative is a huge element to this the they they didn't waste uh, any any resources on the, the performance for sure i gotta tell one quick story yeah. if i can um that was one of our favorite moments um there is a lot of action in this game and that was at the the, the forefront of this and to speak to the performance capture aspect, we brought in an incredible, I gotta give him a shout out, uh, to Nathaniel, our stunt coordinator, who walked us through and really approached this in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before. And he says, I want to know the story of this fight. And so Roger and I sat down, we said, these are where our characters are. And he goes, give me one hour and I will come back to you with the story of this fight. 
And after an hour, he comes to us and he goes, it was like a, like a recovery program. It was 12 steps. And he walked us through this incredible fight. And I was, I, about halfway out, uh, halfway through, I started tuning him out. And I was like, hey, man, I just want to let you know I've got no ego about this. But I can do a lot of things. But I, I can't do this. And he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says, oh, you can. You can yeah. do it. And it's going to be glorious. And we did. And we it's did. It's like a dance. There was a lot of trust. And it worked out. Yeah, I mean, we're excited. Stunts. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I mean, just, this is so cool to see. They're it's telling, me about, a, they're telling me about a game. telling me about a game, but they refuse more. to show gameplay, but they're still telling me about it. Happy All right. I'm a guy who I like to really see stuff. Well, next up, keeping up with the space theme, it's time to world premiere a very exciting new game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend Mick Gordon. This one is going to grab you, and we are so honored to debut it. Chad, this is a two-hour event. Only 36 minutes have went by. They're not going to show their big titles at the beginning. What am I looking at? Space. Empty space. More empty space. It's a tight space. If you miss, I'm gonna punch my screen. Oh, you dead as fuck, bro. You suck. Routine. Oh, uh, it's an Xbox exclusive? I'm still getting a video game. Doesn't hey, that Xbox look great? Got a game. That was routine coming to Xbox and PC. It was first announced a decade ago and is now officially back. I can't wait to see more. Now it's time to check in with a very special guest who's been in his fair share of video games, including most recently Fortnite as the foundation. Dwayne Johnson, oh, welcome to Summer Game It's Fest. The Rock. How it's about you? pride. It's about power. We stay What's hungry. Up, we, where's your shirt? What's up, Jeff? And what is up to the... Summer Game Fest audience is live streaming right now around the world and everybody inside the epic IMAX theaters. Dwayne Johnson here coming at you from my iron paradise, the very hot and sweaty and smelly iron paradise uh, powered by, of course, Zoa Energy, Zoa. the number one fastest growing energy drink in the game. You guys know me uh, by a lot of nicknames. The Rock, La Roca in Spanish. I don't call you uh, that. Uncle Handsome, Sexiest Man Alive. No. Uh, big drink energy. Always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. What the uh, hell are you talking about, Rock? Get to the point. You know me as the greatest and most electrifying surprise in gaming that happened. You know me as the foundation. And I got to tell you guys, uh, number one, thank you so much for the crazy response of me becoming the foundation. But also, I got to say that, you know, I've had such a pleasure uh, working with um, Epic Games and uh, the teams over there. And we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future. Why does head look future, like a nipple, in bro? In the future, you will also know me as Black Adam. Black Adam, as millions of you know around the world who know the Black Adam mythology, he, he got a ruthless, he is Oh, Kevin Hart made that joke. That's what I'm thinking about. I would about like it. to say a quick tutorial is this um, Black Adam has the powers of Superman, but the only difference, well, there's a few differences, but one of the biggest differences is Superman's weakness is magic, and Black Adam's, one of his superpowers is magic. So you do the math. Uh, October 21st, I cannot wait for you guys to see Black Adam around the world in theaters only. And you guys will finally see the hierarchy of power in the DC universe change. But where's uh, your shirt? It has been an honor to become Black Adam. And it was a 
it is a role that's in my DNA and that I was born to play. I was born to play the man in black, and I'm honored to show it to you guys on October 21st. So until then, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused, keep having fun, keep kicking ass, uh, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you down the road. This is Black Adam. But where's your shirt? Black Adam. What I haven't seen this trailer. Nothing but heartache. I was a slave until I died. <laughs> then I was reborn a god. Now I kneel before no one. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. That's up to you. Behind you! Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. That that looks sick. But why is Jay-Z on the No, but that that looks that look really good, chat. That actually looked really cool. All right, so far we got a lot of shooting games. We got a lot of space games. And... So this is a 3v3 multiplayer only game. Unbreakable. Collide. Survive. It's time to die. Embrace full impact. Outriders World Slayer. Coming June 30th, 2022. Pre order now for 48 at Early Access. Outriders Broadcast. Tune in for the end game reveal. June 10th. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what I will buy all of these Switch games If they upgrade the fucking Switch I'm not even fucking kidding I will buy all those games If they upgrade the fucking Switch What's this game called again? Fall Guys. Um, if you guys want to play Fall Guys with me, let's get like a huge party going. Go to the Discord, it's in the description. One day I'm gonna set up a Fall Guys. I'm gonna set up a Fall Guys thing to play with all of you.
that was so fun to see Courage and Ray in that Fall Guys piece, and you can play and download Fall Guys for free starting June 21st across all platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC, and so PlayStation. Oscar. All right, back to another new game announcement. We're going to announce a brand new game and universe from a new team of legendary developers. Check this out. Hideo Kojima, this is it. Something big. This is not a Kojima game. I knew it. <laughs> Frost Giant Studios presents. Show me something nice. Frost Giant Studios. Discovery, this is command. Storm is in your way. Prepare for extraction. Signal's breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. She has a gun check. Command, this is a shooting game. Maybe on to something. She's Kratos without the axe. No blades. Hang tight, Doc. I've got this. Problem with the show, this isn't gameplay, man. This the hell's is... coming with it. This isn't gameplay. Show me gameplay to get me excited. I'm not gonna get excited by CGI, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna register for beta for something I didn't see. This isn't fucking gameplay. There you have it, Tim. Congratulations. Stormgate is real. We have a name and some details. Uh, so, first of all, congratulations on this announcement. We're so excited about the return of RTS, brand new uh, franchise. What is a Stormgate, though? All right, so Stormgates are portals that open during a massive solar storm. Call of Duty showed gameplay, but Call of Duty is trash. On future so. Earth. Okay. Uh, and we saw some hints of some, ra I mean, you know, you guys coming from Blizzard and StarCraft, everyone wants to know about races. Uh, you know, tell us about the sides in this RTS game. Yeah, we're unveiling our first two factions today, yeah. but there will be more. Uh, so the Human Resistance, and we saw an archaeologist from the Human Resistance in that intro cinematic, uh, and then also the Infernal Hosts, who are these demon-like monsters who come from another world. I think one thing everyone wants to know about, especially your background pedigree of the team of you know where do you want to push the rts genre it's something we've all loved for decades but you know opportunity for a lot of innovation um i know you're going to show us i think some some hints of where you're going to go Im image wise with the actual gameplay made in unreal engine but any sense of what you want to do for the gameplay in this game absolutely i but the first thing i want to say is we are very consciously trying to stay true to what players already love about rts um where we're really trying to push the genre and be innovative. First off, approachability. Um, for one thing, we're free to play, uh, but no pay to win, no NFTs, nothing like that. Um, just to 
lower that barrier to entry to get players in. But we're also really trying to be a lot more social. Um, so you'll be able to play the campaign cooperatively. We've got three-player open-ended co-op. Um, and we've even got three versus three for competitive multiplayer. But of course, we've also still got 1v1 competitive. And as a little surprise, I think we've got some first kind of Work in progress Gameplay? images uh, from the game, right? Images, yeah, the images these are, are still enough. very much still uh, being worked on, but some shots of uh, oh, actual is... assets that we're building in Unreal Engine 5. Wow, well, I, I, I love it. Now, 2023, you said for the beta, so people can sign up now, get ready, and I'm just so thrilled that there is a, a brand new RTS franchise coming from you guys and your background and what you did, you know, at Blizzard and StarCraft. We're so excited about this team, Frost Giant. Uh, thank you so much for giving us your announcement today on Summer Game Fest. Thank you so much for having us here. Really grateful. Awesome. All right, Frost Giant, Stormgate, keep an eye out for it. Now it's time for another indie game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. Good morning, High Water Dwellers. High Water Pirate Radio keeping you in the know with our flow. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate to Mars. True or not, the one thing we can't deny is that the world ended on a sunny day. The world ended on a sunny day Boys and girls surfing in the bay Kids clamored in the park No one suspected the coming dark The wave was coming But the sky was clear I let it wash over me Swept away, swept away, swept away without fear Swept away, swept away, swept away without fear The world ended on a sunny day Boys and girls surfing in the bay Oh, they have guns, because of course they do What a breathtaking trailer. High Water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged by extreme climate change. Now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted the development of games, including Replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the conflict and hope to be able to share your work at a future show. Thinking of you. All right, our next game is an official selection of the Tribeca Games Festival. It's American Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised with the viewing population constantly voting you up or down. When you become unpopular, you need to start running oh, for your life. I'm fucking Check shit up out. in this game. I'm buying this shit and I'm fucking shit up. I am becoming the most unpopular motherfucker ever. I'm stopping people out. I'm uppercutting Picture people. Picture a no city reason. where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream to build the city of tomorrow. That dream is now a reality. And that city is our Metropolis. That's Superman. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury. This looks cute. It's a cute game. I like this. It looks Broadcast nice. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. I like this. It's a cute American game. American Arcadia. American Arcadia. Control. Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Chat, have you guys seen the movie The Truman Show? Listen to me. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of there. Yeah, that movie's plot with Jim Carrey is similar to this, how his entire life is being watched by television. Apparently we've made it to the beach. 
Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for God a of War long Ragnarok. Time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out, you don't want to get bitten. After many years of rumors, we finally get an update on this much anticipated sequel. Much anticipated sequel. Epic Games. I fresh up them kicks. Is this Dead Island? <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be a Dead Island uh, uh, parody. Because Dead Island had a trailer similar to this, except instead of fucking goats or zombies. Oh, the goats are fucking shit up! Oh, it's cool! Except the goat shit. Oh, it's Goat Simulator 3! Okay. I like this. This is fun. I'm buying this. They won. There you have it. That was Goat Simulator 3, and it's coming later this year to the Epic Games. That was Store. actually pretty dope. Now, last year, Marvel and 2K announced Marvel's Midnight Suns, a tactical RPG from Firaxis Games, the studio behind XCOM and Civilizations. <sighs> Heroes from the Avengers game. and X-Men crossover with supernatural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a battle crossover, against the same the universe. of demons. Today, we've got to look at some new folks set to join the battle. I'm thinking about buying this game, chat. I'm not really sure I will. It's not really a genre I... World has no help under your watch. It's a mobile game, yes. This is the wrong Venom we want to see. Like, it looks so cool, but it is... It's just the mobile game, though, right? This looks so fucking awesome. Make you whole once more. This looks so awesome, man. Fucking mobile. Mother won't hurt you. Oh, look, it's a Spider Man that we don't want to see. Luck. I'm going to need some backup. So good, man. Oh no, it's, oh, it's, it's on consoles. Okay. Um, chat gameplay. It's an XCOM game. So like, look up XCOM. On you again, old friend. Three, two, one. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. Okay, it's on consoles. 
Okay. That was Cuphead. Son. And now we're moving on to the wonderful world of Cuphead. Chat, have you noticed that course. the game quality you, that they're being shown now is going up and up and up? This is why you be patient. Last course, DLC. You see how they did that? This is why you be patient, now chat. Is Maya now we're getting Studio Cuphead, which is a very popular game. So first of all, Maya, we're moving it's up. really coming? It's really coming June like 30th on all major patient. platforms. We are thrilled. Well, I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week and you guys gave me a copy. This, I, I can't, people are not going to be ready for how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've, you've amped up, obviously, the gameplay. It's difficult, as we would expect, but... The visual look, you guys have taken it even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, we absolutely did. I couldn't pinpoint one thing that we're proud of in this because we really honed our craft, took everything to the next level from animation, the backgrounds, the music, gameplay design, um, and of course, our new playable character, Miss Chalice. I'm very proud of her. Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it feels like it's its own game inside of Cuphead in many ways. It is, it is, definitely. Yeah, yeah you just get, get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new uh, new territory, which is amazing. Yeah, it's our biggest island yet. Super-sized bosses, lots of secrets to discover. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Chat, be yes, honest with me. Did you actually beat ahead. Cuphead? I know you brought, I, I know you want, you don't want people be, to be honest with me, because I know a lot of the you game, have but you brought a little something. For a little okay. something, yeah. It's a uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes Thank you for the two dollar donation. Arena, um, and features some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. We hope everyone enjoys it. All right, let's check it out. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Thanks, Miles. Thanks. Never played Cuphead too hard. I got halfway through the game on my Switch, but then I sold the Switch because uh, I needed money, so I never got the opportunity to finish it. But I believe it's on PlayStation, right? This looks horrifyingly fun. Yo, no, it is. Cuphead is always a great game. I never played the second one. Now, if you want even more Cuphead, and who doesn't, tomorrow we will show no, I mean, you an exclusive uh, I beat half look of the first one. at season two of the Cuphead show when I co-host Netflix's Geeked Week, which will include new show and game announcements. It streams at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. And that's not all. There's more Summer Game Fest all weekend long. Coming up next is the Day of the Devs Indie Showcase with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow, after Geeked Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, with news on Rocket League and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Sunday, don't miss the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase with a look at the future of Xbox and Game Pass. Now we have some exciting news for Nintendo Switch go. and PC fans about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend to heaven. Now we're getting some high quality shit. We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. But I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. We've got ten days here. New day, new mission from all Mikey. You think you can win me over by showering me with gifts? Uh... I can thank uh. you. <laughs> that was a high quality game. That is a very high quality video game. 
world premiere. We've shown you lots of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Over the past year, he's brought on some help to bring his vision for a fast-paced action game, Midnight Fight Express, to life. At Jacob. Let's take a look. I can't say that last name. This was made by one person. Holy shit. Developed by one guy. Okay. You know the saying, get knocked down, get up again, that whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. This looks fucking cool. Um, this was made by one person, chat. Keep that in mind. You guys know how hard that is? By one person made this? Dollar signs. Had the stink of corruption all over me. You know who put it there? Nah, not him. Me. Well, I ain't wearing it anymore. And neither are you. Tonight, we wash this whole damn city down. Midnight Fight Express. That's a cop. I I'm a cop that. I'll cop it. Day one. I Such will. a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam, and will be part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's one of them. Check it out. All right, joining me now is Megan from Digital Extreme Warframe? to talk all things Warframe. I've always wanted to try Megan, Warframe, how you doing? dude. I'm so good. My fellow Canadian. I know. We got like, I just happen to always have these Canadian teams on the show. I don't we know how that connection. works out, right? Okay. We do. Well... We have a great connection. We've also done a lot with Warframe over the years. And I know right now, anyone watching on Twitch for more than 30 minutes, this show is going to get a special Twitch drop, right? That's right. I already have seen people getting it. Yes. So it's very exciting. She's right there, loud and proud. Protea, 30 minutes for watching. Thank you for letting us kind of take over oh. your special events category. But she is there and she is for you if you are properly linked up. No, Warframe, you know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with the game. And I know. You have TennoCon coming up in July, which is your big kind of event of the year to reveal what's next. What what can you tell us? Well, I can't. I tell love how much. she's all casual. Uh, yeah, Everybody's July all dressed 16th, up. She comes in looking all comfortable. Event I appreciate again that. This year. Uh, today, actually, we just launched the digital items for it, so you can get some in-game goodies, some really cool cosmetics, some merch, all that really great stuff went live today. But of course, the reason I'm here yes. is to, you know, kind of debut. We have our ten live during Michael Tenno Richardson. Con, which is our I I agree with reveal you. Reveal of the night. Hundred percent. We usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo, and I think a lot of people can suspect what it might be. Yeah. But I'm here to kind of confirm what it is that Tenno Live is going to show. And what is that? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're going to get your first look at the Daviri Paradox. It's finally. Finally, I know. I know it's been a couple years. Uh, but Daviri Paradox is going to be what Ten Alive is all about, and I'm so happy. Uh, the team worked really hard on the teaser you're about to yeah. see for it, and I'm just really proud and excited to show it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being here on Summer Game Fest. Let's take a look at that right now. My child. My He's friend. fucked up. What was done is done. New dangers. New choices await us now. I think I think I'm gonna try out Warframe for the first time. I think I'm gonna try this. Uh... For now, dream of who we were and of who we have become. Who we have become. I want to try Warframe, but I think it's too late to get into it because the game is old now, right? I know they've been up uh, updating it, but it's uh, but it's old now, right? Like. I don't know, man. I think it's one of those games that I'm just too late in trying. People are just gonna be so much more better than me and shit.
Next, it's time for a new look at Honkai Star Rail, an upcoming open world space RPG. Yeah, a lot of space today from Genshin Impact yeah, Studio. Yeah, no shit, Jeff. Across mobile and PC. A lot of this space. studio continues to deliver, and this new trailer reveals for the very first time a new and exotic realm players will be able to explore. Listen, you are in a daze right now. This looks cool. You don't know who um, you wait, are. Let me wait for gameplay before you're I see here. that. None of that matters. In the near future, you will encounter many perils. You will meet companions who treat you like family and embark on unimaginable adventures. you know in your heart where you're heading you will arrive at the end of the story that's the you i like i have wine to soothe the souls of honor guests. Welcome aboard the Cienjo La Pool. Uh, that's a game that's not for me. Uh, I don't like the whole... Um, and that's not all from Hoyoverse. Today, I'm excited I'm to introduce anime you look. to Zenless Zone Zero, it's their next me. major new it's IP. Bad, but... It's a futuristic urban action game. I have to say, I'm blown away by what I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago, and it has the detail of Genshin Impact with a fast-paced action style. Here is the world premiere of a brand new look at Zenless's notable characters, armed enemies, and world of danger. So yeah, I don't think uh, the anime style is for me personally. So it's a pass for me. What about you, chat? Do you guys like the uh, the anime uh, game style? And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not for me. It's not something that I would like picking up. This music is fire, and these transitions are dope, but. Target. Target. My shoulder bumping, bro. That shit had my shoulder bumping. What am I looking at? One of my favorite reveals last year was TMNT Shredder's Revenge, which reminds us all of the Turtles arcade games back in the day. Well, it's nearing the end of development, and the team wanted to use SGF as a way to reveal one exciting aspect of the game they've been keeping under wraps until now.
I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, I played this game and I, it feels like I've played this game. Before. Okay, something new. He's so cool, chat. Games Fest, the games with guns in space and space guns. Guns in space. I didn't think guns needed that much space, but apparently guns in space is all you could get from the show. Guns in space. Where's Resident Evil 4 Remake? I thought that was supposed to be here, right? Or is that only in the Capcom Showcase? Neither. It's How far will you push, human guy? Hey, at least it's not guns. At least it's not guns, right? Sega. Humankind allows you to shape your civilization by combining a multitude of historical civilizations from the ancient to the modern era. One Piece is celebrating its okay. 25th Okay, I know there are a lot of One Piece fans in here. Bandai Namco is bringing the mega popular franchise back to video games with One oh, Piece. Oh shit. All right, we are getting some big Monty games Luffy now. And his crew Thank of God. Are off on their next adventure. One Piece is a huge this franchise. Reveals the setting, a mysterious island where Luffy and his straw hat crew become marooned in this exciting upcoming JRPG. Fucking finally a, a big game. The Straw Hat Pirates journeying along the Grand Line. I know there's some One Piece fans in here. Y'all be, be fine. I don't go and judge you. No shirt lady. Is it a toy? I don't know. Skeleton man. A guy with a slingshot. Whoa, she needs a bra. A lot of swords, man. Long leg guy. And of course, 
Mr. Fantastic. All right, let's keep the ball rolling. Another big game. This August, Soul Hackers 2 from Atlas launches, and we've got your first listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. Let's sit on the anime game. Ringo. Ringo. Anime. Wake up, girl. Shit, I'm sleeping. So, all right, chat. So we got the shooting section. We got the space section. Now we got the anime section. So next it has to be, you know, the AAA game section. It has to be, right? Mission, then. Save the world. Soul Hackers. With so many new games featured across SGF events, you might be wondering how to plan for your summer gaming dreams. Nerd Wallet can help you find the smartest credit card to reward your gaming purchases at nerdwallet.com. The Epic Mega Sale is going on right now. Save up to 75% off top PC titles with an additional 25% off eligible products. And it wouldn't be the Mega Sale without the free games vault featuring Maneater. Be sure to claim your copy before the sale ends on June 16th. Tune into the Epic Games Store Twitch channel for our summer showcase on June 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. We're taking a look at new announcements and updates from PC titles heading to the store this year and beyond. Epic Games. What the fuck is happening here? Xbox is getting support? Samsung Gaming? Built right into your TV. Holy shit. Start playing now. All you need is a controller? Samsung Gaming Hub. Launching this summer. All right, Capcom, show me something. Alpha 3, oh, I'm actually excited for this. This I'm actually buying. Um, I'm extremely excited for this. Uh, all the fighting games in one collection. I am extremely excited because they were going to have uh, network fighting and rollback netcode. And I'm a huge fighting game fan and you guys don't care. I don't know what I'm even talking about. Oh, this is big. All right, Mario Strikers are getting games I care about. I care about this. That's two games in a row I care about, chat. Fuck off. This is dope. to claim victory. So much fun, it hurts. You know, I never played Mario, Mario Strikers, Strikers on the Game Battle League. Only on Nintendo so, Switch. when Get I actually decide to buy a Switch, I'll pick that up. That's two games in a row that I'm interested in, okay. And now I get head bumping. Hi, my name is Carl, and I'm a developer you? on Metal Hellsinger. You know how in some games where the music's really good, you feel compelled to move and shoot to the beat? But what if you had to? In Metal, the better you are at slaying to the beat, the more intense everything gets. 
and we have vocal performances from legendary artists like Serge Tankian from System well, of a Down. So while headbanging isn't mandatory, we do recommend it. Our demo is live now on Steam, Xbox and PlayStation platforms, so go check it out and slay to the beat. I'ma download it. I'ma download it. I'ma download it for you guys right now. Is this shit copyrighted? This is System of a Down. This is copyrighted music, yo. Now I can't even make money off this stream. The model's out. Copyright. God damn it. I didn't know this was copyrighted music. I know, chat. I know. Fun calm, more like no fun calm. All right, that was a bad joke. That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with metal music. And right now, as they mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation for you to play for free. I'm looking for it. I don't see Next it. up, Jeff a new on. game launches tomorrow. The Quarry from Supermassive Games. This spiritual successor to Until Dawn stars David Arquette and an all-star cast. It's getting great reviews, and this is one of those binge-worthy teen horror entertainment experiences where your every choice shapes your story and determines who lives and who dies at a camp in upstate New York. I'm Here's looking for it. Here's the first look at the launch trailer. You fucking lie to me? Family Jeff? is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one person one in the chat is like Corey? The the well, they're all just question mark. Hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? What? <laughs> there is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole this is family cool. is in on it. You have no idea what's going on. It here. looks good. Not a goddamn clue. Is this PS5 only? All right, let's do this. Only next gen. Run! Who should I call? 91 Ghostbusters. You mean 911? Who says 911? Goodbye, cruel world. We gotta get out. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. Ah! This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Until Dawn was it's a good game. A well, don't tell Fox and Chat that she hates it. Until Dawn, but this looks good, man. Thank you for the two dollar donation. Noob. Willing to bet twenty dollars, Dragon Mark won't show. Back at the Game Awards, we were proud doesn't, doesn't. to reveal Nightingale, a shared world survival crafting game from Inflection Games up in Canada. Now it's time to give you a brand new look and deeper look at the game, including its innovative realm card system that lets you impact things like the weather pattern, resources, and challenges in its procedural realms. Here is your exclusive new look. Chat, I think Jeff lied to me. This game is not available for. There's no demo online for Van Helsing. Jeff lied to me. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid. The portals are a mess. Not even sure if Nightingale made it. Yeah, I'm not watching. How it. fragile you feel. I guess you should pay attention. What the fuck? Kill I'd it. say that staying oh, fed, dry, and rested should be your priority. If the portal arch is inactive, you'll need to make realm cards from rare resources. Once you have realm cards, you can activate the portal. 
Beware them. Foul things lurk in the interrealmic void, waiting to get in. Be ready with your axe pick. The Saints are marching in on August oh, Okay, Saints Row. There Saints we go. Row. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Gamescom. And today, we're happy to announce the launch Gameplay, of the please. Boss Factory demo across PC and console, which lets you design Let's and look set it up, up your chat. character. Let's look it up. And since it's Saints Row, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. No, I, I like Saints Row. I played all of them. I didn't beat all of them. So let's see how this is. We have to do something to capture people's attention. So what do we build next? Me. This is a triple A game, by the way, so we are so good at this. Which fool wanna challenge me? Got a pack on your back with a stack, can't relax, cause you know there's no guarantee. That's a fact, don't react to the test of the mess in the cavalry. Stick correct as your majesty, that bitch never knew, never had the feeling. Seriously, this is perfect. perfect. Dinner and a show, baby. I love the way this trailer is. This, this is a really good trailer. Wait, wait. What, did I just see a naked dude? Why did I just see, like, nakedness? I like this trailer, though. This is a really cool way to present your game. This is a really cool way to present your game. Ah, this is hot! This is a- that was a cool trailer. That was cool. That was fucking cool. I like that. That was a good trailer. Besides the nakedness. That was random. Next, we've got an exclusive first look at extended gameplay of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, Fat Shark's follow-up to the critically acclaimed Vermintide series. Dark Tide promises intense four-player co-op action and terrifying enemy hordes to team up against. And it's our, out on September 13th for PC, on Steam, and exclusively on console, on Xbox. Manufacturer on HL7836 is heading towards a power systems failure thanks to a bit of heretic sabotage. So you're going to restore the colon and hopefully save the day. Get in, access the operations array, and use the cryonic rods to flush the system. Preferably before something explodes. Head on through the ventilation tunnels and look for an access point. This way! Move it! <laughs> Set your day 
Bloober team is known for psychological horror games. Like oh Rich shit! Today, oh, they're ready to shit. reveal their latest creation, made completely in Unreal Engine Five. Finally, horror let's Silent Hill. It's a return to the world of layers of fears. Get a dose of this. Someone once said, "Insanity runs in our family." Let it run. Booper team is supposed to be working on Silent Hill. That was a huge rumor. But it was layers of fear. Which is still Silent Hill-esque. This is a big budget game. Let's give it a chance, everybody. Fears. This is fucking I love the atmosphere to tell. Now I see it. All this misery, all this suffering. There was no other way. You really This is cool. Day one by. I want to stream this. An empty shell cannot live forever. It cannot live at all. This looks really interesting, though. I'm not joking. What the fuck is that? That was a that was that's a day one cop. Early twenty twenty three. That's a day one cop. I'm buying that shit. No, that actually looked good. It wasn't Silent Hill, which was the big rumor that they're this working October, on. This October, Gotham. All right, Knights Gotham arrived. Knights. Give me gameplay, Batman please. Is dead, and it's up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin to protect Gotham. Let me shoot some so motherfuckers as Red Hood, bro. Let's head to Montreal. Headshots from executive bop, producer bop. Fleur Marty. Here we go. Hello and warm welcome from WB Games Montreal. I'm Fleur Marty. I'm the, the executive producer on Gotham Knights. Oh, okay. Hi. Today, we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved knights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first in our character series, and we're really looking forward to share more with you as we continue working towards our launch on October 25th. October 25th. So, I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing. Oh, he looked cool already. He looked cool already. I had nothing. And then this city became my home. Its people became my family. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe. It looks good. I, it doesn't look as janky as I thought it was gonna be. This looks really good. Ew, that outfit though does not look good. 
What's your hair, bro? Who told you to get a face? Try. There's always more to do. And now, it's up to me. I, I, I like it more than the face. Shit look nice, bro. No, that looked nice. Now nah, fuck you off, chat. I don't care if that wasn't God of War. That looked really good. That was Gotham Knights, and now we welcome. Oh, look who it is, Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog, uh, co-president of Naughty Dog. Uh, great to have hey, you. Hey, yo, what's Neil. good, it's been Neil? A, uh, an eventful day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans, mm -hmm. and uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like watch the ass assets will leak, and yes, no it, yeah, um, that's well, what leak chat. Is, is I didn't see it though. We have lots to share with people about. Oh, all there's more. Naughty Dog, but first of all, it is a you know it's a big month actually for last. I didn't see the leak. Because, I didn't uh, watch last it. Last of Us One and Two both launched in June, and it's nearing its two-year anniversary for Last of Us uh, Part Two, which is is hard to hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us One, two years for Last of Us Part Two, and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters. Oh, and I bet. In this world means so much to them. Last of Us One, greatest um, game of all time. Last of Us Two, it's, for it's me, just not been so much. Kind of amazing. Like Last of Us Part Two, early this year, passed a pretty big milestone. It sold over 10 million units. Oh and shit! And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now we can take on multiple projects more than we've ever had at the same time. Hmm. Multiple projects. Show me, okay, Neil. Come on, Neil. So, uh, what can last us, Last of Us fans expect in the future from you? Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yes. Uh, so one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode has evolved. Factions is back. Ambition. Let's go. We want to do something beyond what we've ever done before at Naughty Dog, and we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title. And over the, they've been working on it for the past two years. Ambition has grown, and we're not quite Thank ready to fully unveil it, but we're ready to lift oh, the curtain okay, a little okay, bit okay. and just give you like an update of where we're at. Okay. Well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah. So uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Yeah. Um, uh, but what what I can tell you, uh, it's concept oh, art. It's concept is that art. This game is big. Okay. Um, it's as big as any of our single player games that we've done, and in some ways bigger. Really. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling that story is very unique to this game. Um, it's got a brand new cast of characters. It takes place at another place, uh, another part of the United States. It's like a city might be somewhat familiar. So okay. I'm sure our fans have already figured it out. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And I haven't figured it out. Is it Seattle? Bennett Uggerwall, um, Anthony Newman, and uh, okay. Joe Pavani, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this game come next year. Next year. Next year. Until next year to hear more next about that year. one. Okay, well, very exciting that uh, this has evolved, and I mean, that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer. Yeah, I can't game. wait. That's interesting uh, it's, concept. It's, it's special, interesting. Right? We can't wait to show it either. Okay, well, um, that's not all. We also have something that I've been reading about on the internet every day. It feels like up in <laughs> Calgary, they're filming the Last of Us show for all right, talk HBO, about it. Talk right? about it. Show me something. Yeah, so uh, for the past year, um, you know, we've teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV, uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's pretty incredible. The stuff I'm getting back, when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help but feel emotional because not only is it so good and the quality is so high, it's so authentic to what we've made in the game. Um, and uh, I, I just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like, again, Craig and that whole crew and everybody. Show me there. something. I didn't see uh, the leak. Show me the trailer. Like, filming. show me something, man. Tomorrow. So the entire series, last day of filming is last tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, wow. kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And you actually got to direct one of the episodes? Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. Um, I think we have an image from the episode I actually directed. Ooh, okay. Um, so we could first look. Let's take... <laughs> so wow. you can see uh, this is a certain... They look good. I thought they were going to look like trash. It, it doesn't look bad. Um, and I really have to talk about Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey and not only directing them but seeing them do all the other episodes. They've thrown themselves at these roles um, for a whole year. Watching the nuance that they bring to these characters, their relationship, 
on and off camera, I couldn't help but think about Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. It felt so similar to the chemistry those two actors had when we made the game. Um, and it really feels like this is going to be something special. And I, I will say this will be the most authentic video yeah. game adaptation yet. Well, I mean, okay. that first that's a big promise, out, I mean, Neil. It feels like the video game, everything that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel sort of super legitimate, as you said, and that's awesome to see uh, Jewel and Ellie from, from the front side now for the first time. Um, so we'll see more of that at next year that's coming as well, right, Sirius? Uh, you'll hear about it very soon. That's, that's okay. all I'll say right now. All right. Well, Last of Us HBO, very, very exciting. Uh, and I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. We should bring them up. Okay. Come on up. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. Surprise. Tro Troy's back again. Hello, Ashley. I know. Ashley. Oh, see Ashley. Uh, I haven't I'm seen her face though. in I, I thought maybe years. Pedro Bella, but Troy Ashley out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of like the talent and the help, like helping us create Joel and Ellie. Um, we felt like it was so important that they yeah, no, I agree with and that. It wasn't, I agree with it that. It has to be more than just like kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Okay. These are real roles that we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, but man, I was I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your stuff. There's been so much it's stuff so, I feel like so good on the internet. There's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's you guys have kept a complete secret that you so you were up there and you you filmed your roles by now, obviously. Uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets yeah. with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had except for today, yeah. 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 except for today, yeah. <laughs> except for the day. Uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it. And the work I want to. This is cool, hard, right? I, I would like to see I the trailer. Say, I didn't um, watch the leak when I walked out on set. Um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project because of their fan and their love for the for the game uh, was one of the greatest. It was like I was coming home to friends. Yeah, I, I the attention to detail, the crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are man. I they're so. <laughs> Perfect. Bella and, and it, Pedro? It, we, we've been trying to sort of describe oh, that feeling of sort of seeing them in person. It's it's like it's like the characters coming to life, but it it it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am so excited to be a part of it and just I can't wait to see it. I think it is gonna be so good. It's it's so I love the story. I love no, just I, being I'm, a part of I'm so world. excited about the series and the fact that you guys are going to be in it and undisclosed roles. I'm so fascinated how it's going to sort of bob and weave and, and, you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing? New characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. Oh, to maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Well, let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea, or really what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the original game. Show and this me is like a ground it. up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision. Uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC. And instead of talking about it, let's look no at PS4, it. Right, let's take a look at the No PS4 chat. No PS4 for the remake. Us. Part one. This better be fucking fire, bro. So why'd you leave Boston? It looked good. I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. This is huge. This looks incredible, bro. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that everything you hope for? This looks you incredible. Can it? Once Holy upon a time. shit. I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Bro, this looks... Yo, I... I get in trouble down there. 
You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. All right, that that looked incredible. I don't like the name change to part one. I don't like that, but no, that <laughs> shit looked incredible. Truly dude. one of my favorite games of the past decade. Guys, what's your reaction? Oh, I love that box art. Yeah, we uh, hadn't seen that yet. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, it's because you did these perform. I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah, right? actually, we, we came up with a process where you could take their Chat, what do you guys think about uh, that shit? Animation it that we it does look incredible. And kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators that went shit back and we're sort of side by sides here just how much it has changed. Yeah, you look went at and that you shit. You redid the models and rebuilt everything? Everything was re uh, rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, same art look director. Look at that the shit, director, the dude. Whole thing from the ground up. Um, but the, the great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. Our, all the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer to what you did on set than we could have achieved before. Um, and that's just like one of the things um, we could talk about, like this brand new AI, like all the combat is, like, is, is redone. Okay, um, all the combat redone, just, different AI. Uh, the fidelity of everything, 60 frames per second, all this stuff. You're 60 frames. PS5. Again, we wanted to give... It fucking no better be 60 frames. Show because this, they're all, all new players for PS5 and PC. Yeah. We wanted them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Amazing, well now you guys get to replay. I mean, when was the last time you guys played the game? I actually, I actually never played, played it. I played it <laughs> again just to refresh my memory before working uh -huh. on the show. Uh -huh. um, I was a just a glutton for punishment and I went straight from playing uh, part yeah, played one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, with this. I mean, yeah, I can't wait to go back. It was oh, I can't a, wait. You guys did such an amazing job on that original game. and It's it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. night and day from what, what it used to be. So imagine no, no, that shit the does look night and day. Combat, that shit would be incredible. Kind of that back in The Last of Us 1. Well, it's the whole, like, all the yeah. new animation system, the new AI system, everything we've learned on, like, Uncharted 4, Last of yeah. Us 2, we apply to this, again, to give that definitive version. Just to give a quick chat, shout out, The Last of uh, Us 1 came out in 2013. By, uh, and Shauna Sky. Okay. Uh, and you'll hear a lot more about it and see a lot more about it over the coming weeks. Although the game doesn't need a remake, the remaster was good All enough. Right. Shortly thereafter. Uh, we will look the forward remake to that. Is you, Neil, you've talked a lot about games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? You still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Uh, Don't say part three. It's part three. To talk about. Maybe if someone in place wants to leak it, then we can yeah. talk about it now. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll save but it. You do have a new project. Damn, Neil do throwing new project, shots uh, at please. We'll save it for another summer game. It's going to be part three. We all know what it is. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. We'll try and save it. All right. <laughs> Troy, Ashley, Neil, thank you so much for dropping by Summer Game Fest, and I am so excited right. that The Last of Us is returning, as you said, in September. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Jeff. Thank awesome. All right. Well, that is going to do it. Thanks to Naughty uh, Dog and PlayStation for that oh, very God, special uh, look at The Last of Us and the entire franchise and where things are going. Um, very, very excited about that. All right. Summer Game Fest continues over the next few days. Coming up right now on this very stream is Day of the Dez with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, including an exclusive new look at the Planet of Lana and then the Devolver Digital Showcase. Tomorrow, we've got Netflix Geeked Week, which I'll be co-hosting. No God of War. And the Tribeca Game Showcase streaming, along with the Epic Games Store Showcase. We and all then finally, it Sunday, it sucks. it's the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. You can stream them all at summergamefest.com. As for me, I'll see you again in August when we are back live in Cologne, Germany for Gamescom opening night live on August 23rd. And then the Game Awards will return in December live from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. And finally, I'm excited to share that Summer Game Fest will return in June 2023 as a digital and in-person event to bring the gaming community together. Thanks for being a part of Summer Game Fest. And remember, there are more events and announcements to come. We'll see you soon. All right. Oof. Big oof. Big oof. Let's talk about it real quick, chat. I'm going to bring the chat up on the screen. Happy birthday to you. Hold on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Day of the Devs. Day of the Devs. What? You don't know what Day of the Devs is? Day of the Devs is the greatest and definitely the oldest independent game. Shut your mouth.
Shut up, shut up. Festival that exists. It was started over 10 years ago by Double Fine Productions and I am 8 to celebrate. Uh, let's talk, chat. Chat, let's, ha let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. Wow, that, that, that was, that was, uh, How do I describe this event? I'm reading your chats right now. Hmm. I'm just reading your react. I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Give me, give me a second. I'm trying to gather myself. Oh man, what are you guys saying? Unlike, uh, look, Last of Us Part 1, uh, the remake was look, look amazing, right? All right, let's talk. Uh, it looked amazing. That's undeniable, right? You, I, but we didn't get to see anything about factions, though. That That's the part that's, like, kind of the, the equilibrium to that. Overhyped, uh, I think it was definitely overhyped, 100%. The, the problem with this show in particular, and like usually when these type of shows end, I'm usually like okay with it, right? Usually I'm like, okay, it's fine, right? Because there's usually some good games. Like the state of play that came out didn't have God of War, yeah, but it had a lot of good shit that I was excited for. This event, it started off with a bunch of gun games, then went to a bunch of shooting games. Then went to a bunch of uh, uh, space games. Then more sp and more space games. Then more shooting games and more first person, more shooters, more. It didn't feel like an event, unlike the state of plays and unlike all these other events. And, and that's the part that's bugging me. Not the fact that God of War didn't show. But the thing that's bothering me is uh, that the repetition was insane. We got the same game over and over and over again. And that's where my issue is. When you get the same shit every single time. Usually after these, these events, I'm happy. I'm fucking good. But it was nothing but shooters in space. And the things I was excited for, they didn't really show. Like, I'm really excited for factions, but they didn't show it. Does God of War still come out 2022? Nah, it's coming out 2023. I, I'm officially over the 2022 hype. I'm over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm over it. I, I tried to hold on for as long as possible, but I'm kind of over it. But uh, why are people hating on The Last of Us? I'm not. I think the remake looks amazing. It looks incredible. The remake looks incredible. Like you can't deny that. Um, I don't like Last of Us Part Two. I I've I've made that clear. My stance on it. Don't like Last of Us Part Two. But 
Last of Us 1 Remake looks incredible. The way Neil described factions looks incredible. Uh, but... We didn't get any other game. That, that's what's bothering me. Everything that was shown was the same game over and over again. And that's why I think this show is bad. Not because God of War didn't show up. But it's bad because... Fucking space... First person, shooter, third person, hero games that, sh that are shooters, shooter, 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 space. We're in fucking space. It's annoying. That that kind of that kind of annoyed the shit out of me. Um. I don't remember anything about this summer games fest except for Street Fighter Six, which is what started this, and The Last of Us Part Two, which ended it. <laughs> it's like I don't remember anything in between. At all. You know, it's definitely coming out 2023. Look at Santa Monica's tweet. They tweeted something. Yeah. It wasn't Silent Hill. It was Layers of Fear. That that That's something I'm buying. Santa Monica tweeted? What did they tweet? They didn't tweet anything. What are you talking about? They didn't tweet anything. I'm not buying this God of War Ragnarok. You're buying God of War Ragnarok whenever it comes out. Don't lie to yourself. Street Fighter 6, Cuphead. Yeah, Cuphead was cool. Street Fighter, we, Street Fighter 6, Cuphead. Layers of Fear looked dope. It, was, it wasn't Silent Hill, but... Layers of Fear still looked dope. Last of Us 1 Remake. Yeah, I'm, I'm off the 2022 hype. I think I was the last God of War uh, influencer. I hate that word, but I think I was the last God of War influencer to finally give up on the 2022 dream. I think I was. I'm being honest. It feels like uh, everybody else had accepted it's going to come out next year. And I was like the last one that's like, nah, it's going to come out this year. I'm telling y'all. Check their bio. The bio says 2022 still, right? Yeah, it says coming to PS4 PS5 2022. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I tried my best, chat. I tried my best to hold on to the dream. Yeah, who knows why Corey deleted his account? He maybe he didn't like Twitter. Twitter is a cesspool. It is at the end of the day. Stop saying look at Santa Monica's Twitter. They they didn't tweet shit. Stop it. Um, let me re let me read some of your. Let me put up a poll. Rate this event out of five. Me, um, this event gets a solid. <laughs> Out of five, it gets a solid th uh, three out of five. I don't care what David Jaffe you've tweeted, man. Hey, Milo, don't be afraid to, to ban people. Yeah, I was the last. I was the last creator. I was. I was the last in influencer to finally come off the. Uh, 2022 hype for me the show gets a solid uh three maybe 2.5 give me a second i'm putting on some god of war music let's let's let's, let's really talk about it Do -do -do. Sucks, man. Give me, let me put on some music and I'll come back to you guys. Oh, this is a perfect music as well. Yeah, all right. Uh, I, I, I can't with the 2022 thing anymore. Fox says only, ca only care literally one game. 
Yeah, I mean, there was other games that were cool. Street Fighter Six, I'm extremely excited for. Uh... Street Fighter Six, I'm extremely excited for. Layers of Fear, I'm excited for. Last of Us Remake, I'm excited for. And what was the other one? I was excited for one more game. That there were games, but there were just... And, and Batman. But there were games, but there was just so much repetition in this show. It was just so much repetition. Space and guns. Then we had like a little anime section. Fuck The Last of Us. I don't know. Last of Us 1 is one of the greatest games ever made. React to... I, mean, I don't want to react to anything. I, I, I don't want to react to shit now. Uh, don't forget anime. Yeah, I did. Are you excited for the TMNT game? No. Well, the, the, the reason is... uh, The reason is the game's not done. That's the reason. You know? I'm not mad at Santa Monica. Let's be straight. I'm not mad at Santa Monica. Uh, I'm, I'm just... Hmm, what's the right word? I'm not mad at Santa Monica at all. I'm not mad at any dev. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm mad that this show was a waste of time. <laughs> it felt like this show was a waste of time. That's what it is. It... That's why I give it a, uh, a like a 2.5 because it was just the same game over and over and over again except with a different coat of paint. It was it felt like the same game over and over and over again. That's what made it boring. I'm not disappointed by Santa Monica at all. I'm not. Not one bit. The show sucked overall. Right? Take God of War and take SMS out the picture. The show sucked. <laughs> Right? It, it, the show, Summer Games Fest, sucked. It did. It's not the fact that there was no God of War stuff. It wasn't a good show. But Midnight Sun is an XCOM game. It's XCOM. <laughs> it's like a, it's a strategy overhead type of game, if, I, if I'm corrected. Um, no, I'm, I'm not mad at the studio. Um, but I do accept I am gonna join everybody else over here saying that it's it's not gonna come out 2020 uh, 2022 I'm gonna join Cuba and the rest of the people on Twitter Could God of War save the show itself? Of course, but even if God of War showed up, the show would still suck. You know what I'm saying? Even if God of War showed up, the show as a whole would still suck. You know, you know, it's like I didn't give up on the devs. I just gave up on the fact that it's coming out this year. I'm over it now. They will forever have my support, Atreus Kratos. They will forever have my support. Like, there's a difference between a show being bad and you being disappointed a game didn't pop up. That That's the difference here. Because this, like the state of play was a good show, even though God of War didn't pop up. It was still a great show. The show was bad. The show was bad. This is what you call a great A waste of time. I could have been sleeping. I got home from work. I decided to stay up. I could be sleeping.
Stop telling me to check Twitter. Stop I don't want to. Stop telling me to check Twitter. When is the next event? I don't know. Jeff Keighley says his Jeff Keighley's next event is going to be in December. That's his next event. That's what he said at the end of this show. Um, so literally, randomly, any day, Santa Monica could give us a, 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 a state of play for God of War and be like, oh, it's coming out. But that... What did they say? The Last of Us Part 1 is coming out when? In September? Chat, did Last of Us 1 get a release date? Let me type in chat. September 9th? Oh, September 2nd. So when is God of War can come out when it's not competing with Last of Us 1 Remake? Well, I don't know. I think this show was terrible. I really do. Overhyped, a hundred percent. That, but th this is my opinion. Again, I'm not trying to tell you how to feel. But God of War cannot save this show. It'll be the one thing we all want to see, yeah. But God of War ain't saving this summer games fest. That's a negative. That's a that that's a nah. Hell no. This show was bad. <laughs> um, Katima setting me up. Don't buy what game? Let's comment here. Well, Jeff hyped it up because this is his livelihood. This is how he lives. So, I don't blame him for that. Yeah. I, I, I am, I'm off the 2023 hype. Poetic, thank you so much for becoming a member. My friend hit me up. She says, if I wasn't watching it on your channel, I would have stopped watching after 15 minutes. It was terrible as fuck. Damn. I think I should have stopped watching once Modern Warfare 2 came out. That shit still pissed me off, man. Alright. Uh... Did you like the Resident Evil 4 remake? Resident Evil 4 remake, uh, yeah, I liked it, of course. It was the one of the best things about the last... Yeah, see, that's the thing. The last state of play is the last thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to get off. Um, the last state of play had some bangers, right? It didn't have God of War Ragnarok, but it had bangers. It was interesting. I feel like... <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like the state of play people, PlayStation approached Jeff, like, yo... We're gonna give you Last of Us 1 Remake, but we want to take all the PlayStation stuff and put it in our own thing. Because I feel like this show should have had, you know, Horizon VR, the PlayStation VR announcements, Resident Evil 4 Remake, all the third-party stuff uh, State of Play showed should have been here. That's what it feels like. It feels like developers like, oh shit, wait, State of Play is bigger than Summer Game Fest. More people watch state of play than summer game fest so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna take our games out of summer games fest and put it in state of play <laughs> that's what it felt like i think santa monica needs to be honest with it. santa monica is honest right you don't know what they're thinking maybe they really thought that they could make the 2022 date i don't know um i'm not gonna try to interpret it interpret santa monica All right, but that's the last thing I think I'm going to say. There's no point in harping um, on this. Um, again, I'm, I am disappointed God of War didn't show up. Of course I am, but this show was bad regardless if God of War showed up or not. This, this show was bad. You know? This was a bad show. Regardless of God. If God of War appeared, it would have 
would have probably kind of maybe saved it, but not entirely. Now this is not a good show. What was my favorite part of the event? When it started, Street Fighter 6 was hype as hell. I'm a huge fighting game guy. Last of Us 1 Remake was extremely, extremely good looking now. It almost feels like now that we've seen Last of Us 1 Remake, that this is the game we needed. <laughs> this is 100% the game we needed. Damn, everybody's texting me. Damn. Um, other than that... I remember John COVID still exists. All the developers are working from home. All the developers are working from home. They're all starting to return to the office though. There's been a bunch of developers over on Twitter that are announcing that they've actually returned to the office. Do you ever play on Fightcade? Uh I did a few times. Um, but it's not nothing I like I really go on and play. I don't know why. But there's nothing wrong with Fight K, but from time to time. Who's Jeff? Oh, Jeff Keeley, okay. I mean that's not how you say his, that's not how you say his name. His name is spelled G E O F F Jeff? G E O F F Maybe June and State of Play. Sony does a Yeah, that is true. Like I said, like Sony can release or announce a state of play for God of War, and in that state of play, there's a release date. Um, but they will have to shaft. If it's coming out this year, I feel like Last of Us 1 Remake will probably be shafted. Nah, I'm terrible at Third Strike. Alright, but that, that's going to be it for the show. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a video. I don't know when I'm going to release my next video. I still don't have no idea what I'm going to make a video on. Um, let me look at the poll. Yikes. Yikes. So a lot of people didn't like this show. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, this poll, yeah, it makes sense. Who do I main in Dragon Ball Fighters? I main, um... I haven't played Dragon Ball Fight. Ultra Instinct Goku is my is my starter. Um, Vegeta, Super Saiyan One, and uh, Base Goku. Uh, yeah. So um, the Capcom event, which I will be streaming. Um, I'm not sure how many people actually arrive to that stream, but uh, yeah, I'll be streaming the Capcom event. So Summer Games Fest. Let me actually show you guys. This is the last thing I'll say, and I'm going to leave. Uh, Summer Games Fest is not over. Um, we just did this event. You have these three events, which are, you know, not really for me personally. But then you have the Xbox event. You have the Capcom Showcase. I'll be here for the Xbox event on June 12th. And then the Sh Capcom Showcase on June 13th. That is the next time I'll be uh, streaming this game. Oh, streaming an event. So, uh, yeah. All right, everybody. Um, it it, it was a terrible time. This event was really bad. Bye, African. Uh, if you're in chat right now, if you're still here. Type something so I can say goodbye to you appropriately. So, uh, yeah. By the way, my mods. Um, don't be afraid to ban people or to hide them. But I see you guys are deleting it, which I appreciate. Thank you all so much. I love my fucking mods to death. Catcom event is June 13th. I love my mods to death, but don't be afraid to, you know, make people banned. Like, hide them from the channel. But if you're in chat, say something. So, um, thank you for being here, uh, Aaron Yeager, uh, F72, uh, Twang123, Abandon. Yo, check out Abandon's channel. I love his streams. AK Gaming, MK Man Gaming, Shadow Jaden, Anas Muhammad, Eddie, 8 Butt Sideways. Axel, Myla C, Amon, a lot of fucking names, Alex K, Rexy Gaming, Nova, S. Stang, Jake Wu, Fazin, my uh, my friend Fox, 
Raging Gray, TR, George, Eddie, uh, scroll back down, see any new names, Ben, that's Kenobi right there, everybody, Eden Yeager, the L Squad, a lot of names, uh, god damn, a lot of fucking names, uh, Mello, I didn't even know you were here, buddy, uh, the 280 to Adi, I'm gonna call you two, uh, Jacob, Window Liquor, oh my god, these names, <laughs> Window Liquor, alright, everybody, god damn, there's so much I can't even keep up, uh, Brian, I can't keep up, Franco, Cloner, oh god, Night Demon, why can't you be a day demon? <laughs> Aiden, Ali. All right. All right. All right. All right. Too many names. Thank you all so much for being here. If I didn't read your name this time, I'll probably read it next stream. Um, Ragnarok coming 2025 confirmed. By Jonathan. By Caleb. Kingslayer. All right. That's it. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys and girls for listening. Deuces.